being a Christian. It is about what you can do for the people of Ghana, your, your vision and what you can do. So let us stick to the issues. And when we, when we pass the law, inshallah, in the next few months, we are going to make sure that it is in the law. We are going to make sure every year at least that money, the equivalent of $50 million, will be in that fund every year. So that no government can come and say there is no money for so good people. It will be in the law and we will make sure it happens, inshallah. And we also promise that, inshallah, we will begin the payment for Arabic tutors. And inshallah, we hope to do so this year in 2017 under this budget. So we are beginning to do a lot of things. We know that there is an outstanding promise also, and we will fulfill it, that we will make sure Arabic is an examinable subject in JSS and SS exams in this country. And we are going to make sure that is done, inshallah. And when we, when we pass the law, inshallah, in the next few months, we are going to make sure that it is in the law. We are going to make sure every year at least that money, the equivalent of $50 million, will be in that fund every year. So that no government can come and say there is no money for so good people. It will be in the law and we will make sure it happens, inshallah. And we also promise that inshallah we will begin the payment for Arabic tutors. And inshallah we hope to do so this year in 2017 under this budget. So we are beginning to do a lot of things. We know that there is an outstanding promise also, and we will fulfill it, that we will make sure Arabic is an examinable subject in JSS and SS exams in this country. And we are going to make sure that is done, inshallah. And when we, when we pass shift the focus of an economic policy away from taxation to production. So we are going to move away from taxation to production. From taxation to production. The MP the MPP will shift the focus of an economic policy away from taxation to production. So we are going to move away from taxation to production. From taxation to production. With this new system, this new scholarship administration system, government is seeking to ensure transparency in the scholarship awards. And by this, the risk of corruption will be reduced as all workflow regarding scholarship application will be streamlined. And that workflow, because it's digital, can easily be audited. Very, every application can easily be audited. Again, the new system will provide accurate and reliable data on scholarship beneficiaries, as well as tracking their academic progress. So beginning April 1, 2020, in just four easy steps, any applicant will be able to conveniently apply for a scholarship from the comfort of their homes and receive an instant feedback on the status of the application. You have four easy steps. You open the web address www.scholarshipgh.com. Scholarship GH, GH for Ghana. Scholarship gh.com you open it and you create an account to register they will ask just for a few details your name and so on to register then you complete the application form and upload academic certificates and transcripts then you complete an online aptitude test and be scheduled for selection interviews in your district 
you don't get up and, and come to Accra. First of all, you, you, you do it, and the, uh, as, as the registrar said, we, the training across all the districts has taken place. So once the selections for interviews are made, you'll be interviewed right in your district. Uh, so you are not putting so much um, cost on applicants and inconvenience. As, as vice president, I am like a driver's mate. But by the grace of God, if you make me the president, I will be in the driver's seat with constitutional... I will be in the driver's seat with constitutionally mandated authority to pursue my vision and my priorities. So what do I want to do in terms of vision and priorities and policies if you give me the opportunity by the grace of God to become president of the Republic of Ghana? One million for ICT jobs. Software development. One million youth. Yeah, but three of new moon. Me ba. Yeah, but boa small scale miners. Yeah, but boa omo. Yeah, but shisha minerals development bank. Na ya nyesika abua omo na omo ye omo ijumano to say yeah boa ekuya for small scale miners. Yeah, the new regime me ba. Yeah, unko she obia excavator biom. Yeah, but shisha new regime. Na ya di akoye ni mu. Ene upe passporta. Jise uko. Ako jiform. Afili. Na wa uwe. Chene. Na ya wako nya passport. Meba ya di nshishia fufuroba. Uwa gana kada. Uye asa uya application. Ako ji passport. Biyom. Uba fa ufon. Ufa ufon nwa. Na ya bisa ugana card number. Udi tuwa pe na wetu ya fino na ya ye u passport amao. Enwa anunu. Because ya wa information ninyi na ewa ugana card so. Edi memunu passport diye ebe ye kuku ebe ye easy ama ubiya. Meba ya be trainee. Youth, memunu, one million for coal, um, ICT jobs, software development, one million youth, yebe trio niomu. Meba, yebe boa small scale miners, yebe boa omu, yebe shisha minerals development bank, na ya nyesika, abua omu, na omwe ye, omwe jumano, to say ya boa ekria for small scale miners, ye the new regime, meba. Yanko she obia excavator biom ye be shishe new regime na ye di akoye nim ene upe passporta jise uko ako jiform afili na wa wa chen na ye wako nya passport me ba ye di nshishe fufroba uwa gana kada unhi asa uya application ako ji passport biom Uba fa ufon, ufa ufon nwa, na ya bisa ugana card number. Udi tuwa pe na wetu ya fino, na ya ye u passport amao. Enwa anunu, because ya wa information ninyi na ewa ugana card so. Edi memunu passport diye, ebe ye kuku, ebe ye easy, ama ubiya. Meba, ye be trainee youth, memunu, one million for coal, um, ICT jobs, software development, one million youth, ye be trainee omu. Meba, ye be boa small scale miners, ye be boa omu, ye be shisha minerals development bank, na ye nye sika, a boa omu, na omu ye, omu e jumano, to say ye boa e kriya fuo, small scale miners. Ye the new regime ba ye nko she obia excavator biom ye be shishe new regime na ye di akoye nim ene upe passporta jise uko 
ako ji form afili na wa we che na wa konya passport me ba ya din shishe fufuro ba uwo gana kada unhia se uya application ako ji passport biom uba fa u phone u fa u phone noa na ya bisa u gana card number udi tu hope na wetua fino na yaye o passport amao eno no no because your wo information ninyi na e wo gana card so edi memuru passport there e be ye koko e be ye easy ama obi a me ba ye be trainee youth what is the difference between the ordinary thief and a political thief number 1 the ordinary thief steals your money, your bag, your watch, and your jewelry, isn't it? But the political thief steals your future, your career, your education, your health, and your business. Number two, the hilarious part is that the ordinary thief will choose whom to rob. But you are the one who choose the political thief to rob you. Because we choose them. We vote them. We blindly say we are not blind. Who is deceiving who? The ridiculous part of the whole issue is that we will fight to defend and protect our belongings from the ordinary thief. Is it not? But we fight each other to defend and protect the political thief. Is that not what we do? Thugs will be fighting themselves to protect those that are stealing our career, stealing our joy. Still in our health, still in our success. What a shame. If you reach a certain stage in life and there is nobody who can look you in the eye and tell you the truth, you are doomed. And that is where our country has got into. We need to rescue this country. We are lying. And I feel very terrible as a Ghanaian at this time. This country is in serious trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We are in serious trouble. We need to rescue this country, ladies and gentlemen. The presidency has been so depraved so so muddy so dirty that i tell you in all sincerity as a Ghanaian, that i feel terribly sad today as a Ghanaian. we need to rescue this country wallah inshallah please don't cry we shall rescue our country government is broke government is broke the people are spending billions to go inside the government that is broke have you ever seen a minister who resigned because government is broke before? Government has no money. Have you ever seen a governor who said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when I was elected, I thought the government had money. Now I discover government has no money, I resign. Have you ever seen it? Government has no money, but they are bringing money out at election time. Where is that money coming from? So they are lying. What is happening is that there are two types of wicked people in government. Type one, they eat current money. Any money they find in government, they will eat it. They are wicked about that one. There is type two. Type two, they eat current money and future money. They will say, ah, oh, um, my term will end next year. When I leave, how will I eat money? Let me borrow money now. i borrow money of the future and eat it now. <laughs> government is broke, government is broke. People are spending billions to go inside the government that is broke. Have you ever seen a minister who resigned because government is broke before? Government has no money. Have you ever seen a governor who said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when I was elected, I thought the government had money. Now I discover government has no money, I resign. Have you ever seen it? Government has no money, but they are bringing money out at election time. Where is that money coming from? So they are lying. What is happening is that
There are two types of wicked people in government. Type one, they eat current money. Any money they find in government, they will eat it. They are wicked about that one. There is type two. Type two, they eat current money and future money. They will say, ah, oh, um, my term will end next year. When I leave, how will I eat money? Let me borrow money now. Um, borrow money of the future and eat it now. All right, a very good morning to you and you're welcome to the uh, Mubarak edition of Good Morning Ghana and congratulations to all our Muslim brothers and sisters who have gone through the fasting period. Difficult times indeed, but I think they have tried their best and now it's time to feast. So we're here to feast with you. I remember yesterday, Chrissy Pratt was saying that he's just going to get crushed before and <laughs> say if you can get something to eat. So maybe we're going to do the same here at Metro TV. After the show, my name is Anil from Pofo. And it's 11th of April, 2024. And we thank Almighty for giving us yet. In fact, we thank the Allah, Allah, for giving us today to sit through and discuss the matters of the country. So happy Eid to all of you, um, and those who have traveled. I know some of you have also traveled, but we wish you traveling mercies to come and join us here, uh, back here in the country. So um, since the holiday, the newspapers are also have also been hoping that tomorrow they will resume. But some of the headlines or news-making headlines include ignore Baumia's tale, lie, free SHS will thrive under Mahama. And that is Dr. Park, who is also uh, making responses to some of the comments made by Dr. Mahmoud Baumia on his campaign. In structural uh, inequalities, cause of low growth in Africa. Structural inequalities, cause of low growth in Africa. That's by the World Bank. March inflation rises to 25.8% from 23.2% in February. I'm shocked. Mahama reacts to 22 levies, free charge for clearing goods at port. Increase efforts to becoming standalone operator Piak to GMPC. Remember their boss resigned recently and I think their problems will just not stop. It's unending. Uh, we have a story that is also saying that... Um, um, Fentio oil is actually not taking over uh, at all. Okay. Now, increase F. Okay. NDC poses 35 questions to the EC at IPAC meeting. And Mahama is a threat to free SHS miracles of budget. The MPP held a press conference about two days ago, also outlining and explaining some of the matters that have come up during the campaign journey and trips, listening to also what's happening from the opposition camp. And some of the comments they're making, they are responding to it, saying that Mahama is a threat to free SHS. We believe the BVRs can't be missing due to EC stringent measures. I said in Katie, are granting interview to one of the sessions yesterday, um, also explaining why he thinks that it is very strange for uh, such critical machines to be missing at the office of the Electoral Commission. How that is possible, he doesn't believe it. So I'm sure probably in his head he's suspecting that it, it is an inside job, right? All right, so 50% of Agenda 111 hospitals will be completed by end of year in Siansari, responding to performance tracker launched yesterday. And also, uh, Kojo Ponkuma is also saying that part government's performance tracker will promote transparency and accountability. And um, Galamse fight, provide alternative livelihood and make it and uh, make it unattractive. How is this possible, right? It's a mining expert that's talking. We also have 400 acres of cocoa farms at risk of mining uh, exploration, at risk as mining exploration begins at Echima Mwabieja. So cocoa farms continue to be at risk. And um, we'll be, when we have time, we'll touch on that as well. Remember that we've played a video where Dr. Baumia is saying that, he, he, you know, his government is going to be not going to be burning excavators. Is, is that making maybe Galamse, I don't know, mining, small scale mining working attractive or unattractive? What exactly do we want to do as a country? We'll be getting into some of these issues um, when we come back after the break and I'll introduce a guest as well.
kitchen rice. It's me a emu a diane diara. Yan sioka karebi pe emu nanki kamu. Nani ham nene de di. Delicious. Said your mamma it's here no pepe. Yet the fortune emu pa abejaso. Gana mua e de. Ma emu a diane nina. FD a di a di di en kratu a yatu. Welcome to Elbow.com. In today's modern world, stairs are a challenge, especially for our elderly and those with health concerns. Navigating them can be difficult and even dangerous, but there's a safer way to move vertically. Lifts and Elevators Limited Company, your answer to a more accessible and secure vertical transportation. Our elevators and escalators, including top-of-the-line pneumatic vacuum elevators, Fuji elevators and escalators, offer a safer and more convenient alternative, eliminating the risks of stairs and enhancing accessibility for homes, businesses, and hospitals. Choose safety and convenience with lifts and elevators limited company. Elevate your spaces today. For more information, visit our website at www.elevatorsgh.org or call now on 0200-535-515. Lifts and Elevators Limited Company, the elevator people. Intentions. To be honest, I'm so nervous about starting this new world on Monday. Oh, please. I know you'll be great at it. You should be worried about what benefits they have. Example, do they have health insurance? I doubt they will have that for internet. But no shaking. I have NHIs already. I'll see you on the line. Tin, tin, tin. Hey, now. Look at you. What are you going to do in your office when you can just download your app to register for an NHIs membership? Yes, my people. You heard right. You can now download and register your membership on my NHIS app. No long queues or tedious paperwork. All you need is your Ghana card to register for yourself and for others. Once you register, you get a new digital NHIS card on your phone. My NHIS app gives you access to credentialed health facilities and services across the country. NHIS covers over 95% of disease conditions in Ghana. Access to healthcare just got easier. Now let me sign up quickly. Please, Steph, I'm starting work next month. We are back, bringing you the latest lineup from Betway. Betway starts strong with your front two, with free play Friday and swipe bet. I'm food now. In the middle, you've got all the control, with cash out and build a bet. Plus, with win boost, you can boost your sports bet. At the back, they have smart picks and the partial daily jackpot. You always get way more with Betway. And you want to see. Have been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly. No under 18. Terms and conditions apply. Betway. Get way more. Anti cavity. Dam protection. Brighter teeth and fresh bread. I'm a fair Missy Way. Prepatio Bantama. Matches. Thanks, sir. Thank you. A smile, your fresh breath. Me, Jidi said we use Kel 360 toothpaste. Some me kind. Kel 360 toothpaste. Press here. Kel 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. What name? Jom kasan kasan kasan. Ah, kile kosen. Kel 360 did the way. It's cool, man. Gives me fresh breath and your confidence booster. And you will see so fine in kika when you ne ye. Kel 360 toothpaste. Happy. Very fancy toothpaste, anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Kill, happy smile. This advert is FDA approved. car center in Ghana offering unparalleled round the clock service in autos and accessories. Nadam Autofix is the biggest distributor of used ties in Ghana, offering first grade second hand car ties of all rim sizes at both wholesale and retail prices. We are also the leading name in car sensor diagnostics, corrections and sales of car accessories. We excel in car washing and detailing with state-of-the-art steam engine washing machines that keep water away from your engine, ensuring a clean, healthy and responsive engine. Madam Autofix, the first name in servicing 
car accessories and car washing visit us today and experience the world of class difference find us today at asori daho directly opposite Dansoman kfc and the shell filling station for more details you can call us on 0503 244 266 or 0535 339823 Nado Motofix Wukwainso Nyonko Pa 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 to unleash even more moolah by staking from one Ghana city to 350 Ghana cities and you could win 26 times your stake on the exciting new pick one game from game pack play by dialing star 946 hash on all networks via our website or download the game pack app on www.gamepackgames.com choose your pick one number from 1 to 36 place your stake and watch our live draws on Adum TV at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. daily. Hey, live like like me with Game Park. Game Park, more mula, more power. This game is regulated by the National Lottery Authority, not for persons under 18. Play responsibly. Our stories begin right here, and we never write them alone. There'll be pages we love to read again and again and some we want to tear out. They are stories of dreamers, stories of creators, stories of strivers, stories of believers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters, APSA. Fortune Rise, it's me and Emu Ediane Bia. Yan Sioka Karebi Pe, Emu Lanki Kamu. Nani Ram Nene Dedi. Delicious. Said your mom, it's here no pepe. Yet the fortune and Mopa Abejaso. Dana Moa Ede. Ma Emu Ediane Nina. Epi Aje Eje Dien Kratuwa Yatu. Lovers, join me every week as we embark on a flavor-filled adventure with special guests from different African countries. Today I bring in the taste of Egypt to your kitchen. Without the garlic, we cannot. No, 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 nobody can eat this one. I bet you're eating this alone. Hello, prepare your taste bath. I'm taking you to Guinea. I brought you fair the manure. It's in the breeze with one of the greatest eminent artists we have in Ghana, the world, the globe as a whole. Keep watching NBC. On our first segment, we're going to be looking at the honors where we look at the amazing African artists putting Africa on the map. Hi guys, my name is Pasiyame and you're watching 20 Questions on NBC. Jetting off to our spanky new radio on NBC. I'm watching NBC with Yoti.
Afridua Ofuriata, who is the uh, board chair for the National Theatre and also a member of the MPP. And I welcome. Good morning you. to you. Hey. I was asking on another TV show the other day, I was asking, so next year this time, how would you introduce me? A member of the MPP? <laughs> <laughs> Next year, this time, uh, my turn. Uh, yeah. Interestingly, that's exactly what the NDC panelists said. Said? The exact same thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I wasn't thinking the, along those lines. Oh, very political. Exactly. Very political. That's what I thought. Okay, okay. Anyway, that's just a... But I guess I'm not far from... Oh, I'm, I'm far. My, I'm point, my point was, these things, they are political positions and so it, they'll, they'll pass. They'll but isn't, pass. Isn't, it, isn't it awkward? National theater. That one too political. Uh, it's sad. This is your, your country. As, as you've set it up, it shouldn't be the case at all. You've actually triggered my thoughts. I haven't thought about it that way. National theater. Maybe, maybe very soon, one day down the line, uh, institutions like that, Will, will be made uh, autonomous in a certain very, way. Very, Something like how the EC operates. Yeah. You know, where, when you appoint the person, the yeah. person stays there. Maybe one day. We'll see. So, For cultural institutions, I, I think, I think that mm, uh, mm, mm. we should reconsider. Mm. My experience tells me we should reconsider. But you know, I didn't really see the politics of it until you, you came into office. I hadn't really paid attention to... Nobody pays attention to the National Theatre. Mm. Nobody pays attention. We are all guilty. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me introduce uh, yeah, Buja Jemfi, who is also Deputy Director of Special Duties, the NDC. You're welcome, Buja. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Raja. <laughs> Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. <laughs> Baka de salah. Baka kade. Fantastic. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. <laughs> <laughs> Still around. All right. So, just a, a, a quick one before we touch on the issue. Um, let me just remind you for uh, Kel 360 toothpaste which is still available on the market to take care of your whole family. And that's why it's Kel 360 toothpaste. It's recommended for the whole family and approved by the Food and Drugs Authority. Kel 362 Pace provides you and the family uh, with an all-round dental protection throughout the day with freshness. And Kel 360 Toothpaste is good for kids, children, uh, and adults as well. It prevents cavity uh, with cool mint, gives you fresh breath throughout the day, and protects the gum from decaying. And it's also for consistency and quality. Use Kel 360 Toothpaste. And uh, it's available... Uh, on all supermarkets or in all supermarkets, malls and provision shops. And um, you can go call them on 024-686-4798. Kel 362 Paste, it says happy smile. Now, Lift and Elevator says, enjoying the fruits of your labor is as important as enjoying the mansions of your labor. The pains of climbing your stairs when not exercising could be challenging uh, for all ages. Uh, but worry no more. Lift and Elevator's have got you covered with the best portable American pneumatic vacuum elevators on the market today. You know, when you come to my church, you have about three floors. You have to climb stairs. So I'm going to recommend lift and elevators to my pastor, Anthony Kuju. <laughs> so that we get elevators in the church. So it's a simple and self-supported, and also uh, it can lift your goods as well. It also comes with wheelchair customized. It can be fitted in your chair. So lift and elevators at Sakumono or just call them on 020-535-515 or send them an email to elevators at gmail.com for consultations and best solutions in, in easy vertical movement. Right. Let's go straight to government activities. And um, we've had the promise of April 10 launching of the... Uh, performance tracker now come to being. Performance tracker has now been opened, and Kojo Oponkoma says that government has launched a performa performance tracker 
at the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, Gimpa in Accra. The platform is aimed at ensuring transparency and accountability in the execution of infrastructure projects across the country. Described as the factual, credible and accurate, the tracker is expected to serve as a reliable mechanism for showing the progress and impact of infrastructure project, thereby instilling trust and confidence among the citizens. Speaking to at the launch, Minister for Works and Housing, Kujo Pronkuma, says the government has listed some 13,000 projects tacked with the uh, dual location on the website. So he insists the platform will promote transparency and accountability on governments across, on projects across the country, which have been categorized into 22 thematic areas. The conversation on roads, you will find about 11,974 point, uh, point kilometers of road uh, constructed and rehabilitated from 2017 to 2020. That is a 158% okay, 158 increase over the 2009 and 2016 meter set. So job created between 2017 and June 2023, where the data was put to get, when the data was put together, a little over, over 2 million. So 2 million and 87,000, uh, and it will tell you the source of the data coming from SNIT. So SNIT is one of the provide, is one, uh, okay, is the one providing this data. For every data set that is uploaded, the source will be made available. Highlighting, and I've tried it this morning. I, I tried, I think, on education, and it took me to the Ministry of Education, and I think, yeah, Ministry of Education. So be playing around the, um, what's it called, the sites, and see if you can also, it's, it's user-friendly, I think. It's user-friendly, I think you can. Uh, uh, government performance tracker. So I, let me give it to you. I think .gov .gh. Mm. So it's, no, oh, sorry. I'm trying to open it so that all of you, oh, sorry. It's performance tracker. Uh, dot gov dot gh and performance tracker is p e r f o r m a n c e t r a c k e r dot gov dot gh so the performance tracker puts it together don't separate the words all right and then it will take you straight to the link and I think the opening interface is education. That's number one. And then the rest is there. There's a drop link. When you click the drop link just at the top, under performance tracker, you get media, events, articles about site search and, and stuff like that. So just try and play around it. So it goes on to say that um, with the government Agenda 111 project, when you take the numbers and you add it to the previous health infrastructure that existed, uh, by the time we're done, health care infrastructure would have gone up about 55.9%. STEM education has five schools completed and five under, uh, under construction, depending on which dimension you are querying. Now, and over 5.7 million children are benefiting from the free SHS and TV education as of June 2023, when the data was put in, he added the MPP uh, MP for Fuasi also convinced the tracker is convinced that the tracker will address the misinformation, especially as the country heads to December gen seven general election. And that has been um, and that has been some of the questions that people are asking: Is this a, a political gimmick, or is truly, truly? accountability and transparency that the government is pursuing. Today, um, to all uh, Muslim people, we thank them because in their prayers, they, they pray for the nation as mm -hmm. well and for all their loved ones and friends and 
some of us get lucky to be included in the prayers, and so uh, we need to celebrate them for their effort and uh, their commitment to their spirituality. It's important. Um, there's some two people, my two guys, who I must always, uh, they never forget me. Okay. Never. They, ever since I've known them, they've never forgotten me. And I know that for a fact. So, uh, Mohammed, he's, he lives in Kaswa, and uh, Ibrahim, popularly known as Odo, he lives in uh, Nima. Popularly known as what? Odo. Odo. Yeah. Mean love? Yeah. Oh, wow. Very popular man. They never forget me. May Allah be with them in, in their celebration today after their effort, long effort. Um, <clears throat> this tracker, I don't know whether the Ghanaian public taken advantage of it enough. It's not, it didn't start today. This particular government, the Kufuado government, has made sure that this platform will keep Ghanaians informed about what's going on. And it gives them an opportunity, or it gives us an opportunity to know what advantages we're creating for ourselves as a nation. Particularly under this government and what it's been able to do in its time. It's also able to throw away any kind of skepticism about the progress we're making. And if we want our politics to progress. And yes, you talked about whether it's a political gimmick. It becomes, the gimmick part of it becomes so when you want to be skeptical about what has happened. You don't want to accept that on the ground it exists. You don't want to approve or acknowledge that the Kufuado government has been very progressive and developmental in its orientation and growth oriented, I must add. So, when, when you want to close your eyes to change that has come, that's when you're going to rate it or, or classify it as a gimmick. But if you want the truth, the political part of it, why not? If we want to win authority and power to continue in doing this, mm -hmm. we need to do something for the public to see that we're doing what they've asked us to do and we're doing it well. And it is to their benefit. There's, all these projects are not going to be wrapped up and put under somebody's armpit and taken home when the elections are over or whatever. It's for the Ghanaian people and for posterity. And so, yes, the politics of it and the opposition people will try and poo-poo it and try and say it's not. Meanwhile, they're beneficiaries of it too. And so, yes, that's there. Now, what's the primary essence of this? He used some very interesting words. Transparency, accountability. Those are matters of Ghanaian political culture these days. It's been like this for the last how many decades? Where people use those words, we throw them out. But how many governments put them out for people to see? How many governments do that? And this government is doing that with this tracker. It's telling us where things are, what has happened, whether it's true or not, and whether we're on track with uh, uh, pledges made and the use of our resources. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, I, I break this thing down into particularly governance matters. When you want good government, what are you looking for? You want a government that is considering your social welfare. It's trying to make sure that everything about you, you're creating an environment where you, as an individual, can get into your skill, your talent, whatever it is, and grow it and live well as best as you can and as best as the system can afford you. And in order to do that, you need to have economic capacity. Economic capacity is generated. It doesn't fall from the sky. You need to do all kinds of things to make that possible. And out of that, then the, the general well-being builds up because then you're going to allow, it allows people to think. It allows people to do stuff. And in, in, in looking at economic development itself, you're talking about capacity. What, have, what do we have? Not capacity in, in basic, real capacity. What do we have? What resources do we have? In its raw state, how do we progress it? Uh, what resources do we have in its human state? What do we, how do we progress it? And that's where you look at 
all the things that fall under that. And you put up infrastructure for it. So you're looking at education, you're looking at health, you're looking at roads. Those are the key ones that's, that have been highlighted. You're looking at agriculture, you're looking at all these other things and seeing how you put in the infrastructure to create the opportunity for people to grow and develop and benefit. And so when now you go into details, yeah, uh, and of course all of these create jobs and job opportunities, and they are created not just by the state or the government, they are also created by individuals as a result of all the infrastructure and, and uh, capacity building in both human resource and in uh, material, material resource. So when you've done that, then now you break it down and say, okay, like you went to check out education. That's the human resource capacity that the government is putting in, for example, STEM. <laughs> this government has been very strong on STEM, made STEM a priority space within education because a lot of people get to SHS level and then they must continue and build skill for themselves. And so you have technology, you have science all those things that you must do to get to that level. And those key uh, skills, if I might call it that, in science, technology, and the, all that, is what leads you, it, it guides your choice of a, a profession or whatever it is that you choose to do. And so those structures have been put up. And we're saying five of them have been put up. Five more are, 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 are these are specialized schools. Five more have been put up. Five more are uh, being put up. If you want to check it out, if you want to verify, go onto the tracker, look at it for yourself. You can, it then leads you to the site. You can go there physically and see whether it's true, how far they've gone with it, and all of that. And that should prove to you that if that's the opportunity, if it isn't you as an individual who's supposed to benefit from that directly, somebody around you. We're a so very social-oriented country. Uh, we take care of our families, nuclear and extended. We take care of our nephews, nieces, uh, you know what I'm saying. So when all of this is happening, you are able to direct people to all these places to take advantage of it. That's real. And therefore, when they tell you that this, this has happened, education, when they tell you that because of free uh, SHS, we, we have some 5.7 million people, young people, students, who have benefited or are benefiting from it, free SHS and, and the uh, uh, TVET. Very important. What does that mean? It means for the next, rest of uh, Ghana's life, you're you are, you are pumping in access to real human resource, to build our economic capacity, open up minds, give them skills, give them opportunities. And that's what's happening here. And so when, if you notice from my initial submission, I said we need to put up the infrastructure, economic infrastructure. And that's why you have the tracker, to tell you which uh, infrastructure are being strengthened. Uh, so when you say, for example, and you see, there's a certain angle that Ghanaians should pay attention to. The government, in, and if you read this, your statement you've given to us, if you read it uh, carefully, you notice that the government doesn't say that we have, we have the one who, we're, we're the ones who have created Ghana. It says we've uh, added on, and in a massive way, Added on. In other words, they acknowledge that from independence to the time of uh, President Kufuado and his government took over, there were things being done. But to what level? And what has happened in the time that he's been in office with his government? And that's where you see that. So they will refer to, um, I believe it's uh, health. And they talk about a 55.9% increase from what was there before. And that's massive especially when they're done with the Agenda 111 projects. That's massive as far as health uh, infrastructure is concerned. And you see, when we talk about hospitals, it's not just going to go sit there. People are going to have jobs. You're, you're bringing better health care access to the Ghanaian people across the country, not only in urban uh, uh, areas, across the country, not only in major cities. That's very key. When you talk about uh, roads. That's the one thing that, I mean, people don't, we tend to see it as a luxury pro product, I think. Roads? Yes, I tend to feel that we see it as a luxury pro product. Oh, we need roads, we need roads. But when you look at the economics of roads, and I'm not claiming to be a, a, a 
an expert here, so nobody should try and tag that on me. But the little study that I have done, when you look at the economics of roads, not every settlement must have a tarred or asphalted road because the traffic on there, for all you know, there are only five cars a day that go up and down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're not going to now spend millions of CDs or dollars tying the road to that settlement simply because they're human beings. But you, you grade it and do whatever it is so that they have access. Now, when you look at what has been... But that would be a little bit debatable because if you go to the cocoa growing areas for example yeah. maybe your statistics will fly there not the traffic is not that great but because of the economic activity that happens there Good. you don't have a choice but to and construct so, and so i'm sure when you do the study it will pop, those things will pop up mm -hmm. and it will, be, it will expose why uh, uh, the policy about cocoa roads was ever brought up yeah. and it, it yeah. wasn't a bad idea right. it was the implementation that would be a challenge for one government or the other and we're saying so go back there and check whether these have been taken care of or are being taken care of everything is going to be progressive it's not overnight it's progressive so we need to appreciate all of that and we're arguing that another Kufuado government over 11,000 kilometers of roads have been fixed which means there were roads before, or created. That means new roads. So we need to keep all of that in, 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 in context and recognize that, indeed, in the period of this government, quite a bit has been done. People like to say on uh, things like, no, now you have the tracker. Go and check it and put it, juxtapose it with your uh, uh, social political interest, your whatever is social economic interest, whatever it is, your vision of Ghana, and I plead with people. It, everything is also about tomorrow. It's not only about today. And when you take countries like uh, Singapore, it's, it wasn't about today. It was about tomorrow. So they sustained government. They kept Lee Kuan Yew's government in office so that he will sustain his policies and push the country. And today, look at what Singapore is. And countries that have done that, when they have sustained their governments, they, they don't just switch, but they sustain a government because the government has proven that the direction that it is taking them is the direction that will give every individual and every community the, the, the opportunity to develop themselves. Let me ask this question about the delivery tracker. We, yeah. we launched a delivery tracker, uh, which, in my opinion, uh, maybe the didn't, did not serve it the, tr the purpose for which it was, it was meant for. The delivery tracker was launched uh, uh, for, I think, to carry the 2016 manifesto. But the delivery tracker, I'm not sure. Uh, Is that what it was called? Sorry? That's what it was called. Yes, I that's what it was called. I just remember the tracker. The, I don't okay. remember any whatever. So, anyway, so you ahead. brought the delivery tracker first, and then the performance tracker right. is, is you know, launched yesterday. But I'm wondering, okay, so what becomes of the, what is the delivery tracker? What becomes of it? Are we just wasting money launching websites, putting things? Why would you call it that, a waste? Well, why not? Now, why are we sitting here? This program will be over in a few hours. Is that a waste? No. Because we didn't stay through all day and continue till tomorrow. Mm. That's not how life works. So, Everything has its purpose. So... If that one was for that period, now you're looking at a new period because between then and now, you've added four more years in which you've done more things. And so, so for example, Agenda 111, when did it become an issue? 2020. 2020 brought in Agenda 111. So you cannot now say that should have fit in there and so that one is... But, but websites are meant to be upgraded and updated. You can no, do that. No, Delivery website, tracker, performance websites, tracker. Websites are project-oriented. So some people have a website for a project. When it's done, it's done. Let's be truthful and realistic about these things and factual. Some, projects are, uh, some websites are project-oriented. You're providing information for a particular period. And so they work. And so it cannot be considered waste. Otherwise, we should stop doing a lot of things. You want to inform the public. You want the public to have access to information. And so it is rather for us to encourage the public to be interested in checking. Because that is your, your citizens' rights is vested in that. In checking whether what you send the, the government and, and members of parliament 
And you see, in these things, uh, in this instance, as far as implementation is government, as far as access, you're going to find out from your member of parliament, it doesn't matter which parliamentarian, whether they've been fair to you in giving you access to this information so that you know what to do with it. So it, 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 the, the website is important. It is not a waste of money. It is crucial that the Ghanaian people are given this information. This is a new standard set for governance in this country, where we're using technology mm -hmm. to give access to information for people. And I think that we should take advantage of it. I think that the government's done well in putting this out. For those of us who are into communication as a profession, every time you need information, otherwise you're not in business. And for those of us who are into economic projects of one sort or the other, you want to understand whether government policy is being implemented in the sector that you have interest in so that you can check to see whether your benefits are there and what opportunities exist for you. When this information is put out, it's not put out just to see whether Kufuado's government is doing well. It's, you, you should also look at it to see what opportunities you are missing that you haven't paid attention to. That's what this is. This is uh, uh, information. Uh, if you look at it only as a political and you add gimmick to it, voila, voila. <laughs> you know, yeah, you cannot, you, the country is developing. You cannot allow propaganda and things like that to infiltrate your minds and, and throw you back when the real issues on the ground are happening. The real things are happening on the ground. And, and so it's a matter of you wanting uh, to look at things from a, a, a cup that's half full or that's half empty. When you're skeptical, you're negative, you like to buy into propaganda and all negate everything positive about things that are making Ghana great, you'll see it as half empty. When you see it as half full, you see that, look, we're progressing. We could probably do more, of course, because who wants a half full cup? You want a full cup. So obviously we need to do more. Now the question becomes, who is doing that thing? The NPP government. The NPP government is creating all these spaces and opportunities for us to have economic infrastructure that will give us opportunities to better ourselves as communities and as individuals. Mm. So it's there. Right, I, I think the, the, <clears throat> we thank the government for this. Mm. Um, let me engage Boja as well. But people have said this is like a, uh, an electronic version of the Green Book. Ah. Well, um, I think that every government when elected is supposed to be accountable to the people. And so <clears throat> if government by any means want to uh, display its achievement, whether through a book or through <clears throat> a digital platform or whatever it is, I think it's part of our governance uh, process. Uh, but I am more interested in what the question you asked, Nana, about what happened to the delivery tracker. Mm -hmm. Because in the lead up to the 2020 election, we saw the launch of a delivery tracker, okay. which is to um, give an accumulation of government mm -hmm. achievement over a certain period, mm -hmm. say from 2017 to 2020. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, we were all expecting that this delivery tracker would have been updated so that we can have one source to track everything that they're <clears> talking about. But as it has happened, they have abandoned the, the delivery tracker. And that is because when the delivery tracker was launched, a lot of Ghanaians went into it and started doing self-reports of where they say projects are and which projects have been completed. And many of the projects that were loaded onto the delivery tracker were non-existent. There were situations where um, videos were posted by private citizens on social media. People would go to the ground where the delivery tracker is reporting there's a factory mm -hmm. and you would actually find that there are no factories there. Yeah, there are rodents. Exactly. So that, for me, is not surprising that the delivery tracker has been abandoned. And this uh, performance tracker, for me, will not last beyond a week or two because Ghanaians are going to subject it to strict you know, proof. Ghanaians are going to scrutinize it. They are going to go on it on their own 
Um, yes, of course, the opposition will have an interest who will deal with that at a later date. But citizens who live in the communities and who uh, uh, these projects are supposed to benefit also have a say in, in all of this. So they are also going to go on the tracker to trace the projects where uh, they say they have been, uh, the projects that they, have, they say they have completed, and, and, and all of that. But to go more into it, I want to see that every government is accountable to the people. And so, as for accountability, no government must, ex must escape that. The people must have the right to know what you have used their resources to do. And so that, for me, is what the citizens are interested in. So when you come up with some of these uh, uh, platforms, load onto it uh, projects that you claim you have done, you may think that from the launch of it, you, you are being accountable. But it is when the people subject it to um, cross-check and to verify that these projects really exist. That is when I think the government will, will be exposed. But one uh, issue about accountability that I have been very surprised that this government has run away from is the president's engagement with the media. Because note that this performance tracker, sometimes if you, if you have questions to ask, it becomes very difficult who you, you would get face to face to ask questions and, and pin ministers and government officials I, to I, answer I some recall, of uh, Unless I'm, I'm wrong, I recall it was one of the promises of Nanado. Exactly. To meet and with the media. Yes, yeah, since once. 2019, he's yes. never done that. Yeah, since 2019. Yeah. I think he did one or two and he didn't like it. Yes. <laughs> you know, since 2019. And so, and that's, that, that, for me, um, tells who the president is. Because you know that the engagement to the media was one of the things that President Kufour touted a lot as opening up mm -hmm. the castle for media persons to come and ask questions, you know, put the president on the spot to answer. Akufado decided to tweak that a little bit. He, some of the questions, he even will pass it on to a minister, minister. to come and answer. And also, when people started criticizing him, and if you have observed the president very well, he's, he's good when uh, the, the, there's no uh, body before him asking him probing questions. Mm. When he has to read the script and go away, you would see that uh, his... Uh, uh, a prowess of, you know, churning out words and, and speaking fast and, you know, his accent will come. <laughs> but when he has to be put on the spot, <laughs> yeah. ask questions yeah, for him, ask questions. <laughs> no, no, it's important because for me, all of these things are part of accountability. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you, you get it. When the media gets opportunity to ask you that, look, you said that you were going to construct concrete roads. Mr. President, we have checked the performance tracker. We can't find any concrete road. What happened? Then you would notice that the issue of accountability is really, really coming home. But when you go to launch a website and then everybody goes to sleep, we are asking questions, nobody is there to answer and all of them. Then the accountability for me is, is not it's complete. Lost on. So, so what, is, the, what this is practically saying is I go onto the website, look at the project, it gives you the source. Go physically and go and check yourself. Whether it is there or if not. If you have any question, who, who, are you going to who, who ask? do you go to? Okay. I have gone onto the tracker. Mm. And I went to uh, Ashanti region mm. to check Agenda 111. And you'd notice that uh, Honorable Kojo Opon Kroma was emphasizing on, on Agenda, Agenda 111, 111 and trying to create some statistics. I mean, imaginary statistics yeah, We're that told that 50 exist. of the hospitals will be ready by end of this year. That, that's, that's not correct. That's not correct. So you go on the tracker, and then you go to Ashanti Region Agenda 111. They have posted 11 Agenda 111 projects, mm -hmm. eight, eight, no, 16 Agenda 111 projects there. Now, if you check the 16 projects, you would notice that 
about nine of the 16 are under 50% completion as a status. Nine out of the 16. <coughs> now, if you check out of the nine, four of them is at 0%. So why do you put them on a the tracker? They are talking about performance tracker. What and then you go and load zero percent. You may you have to be asking yeah. them. So you go and load projects and write zero percent, which means the project has no status. You know. And then you see some of the projects at eight percent, thirty-seven point seven percent. In fact, those that are above fifty percent in terms of completion. Mm -hmm are only six in the Ashanti region. There are only six out of the 16 that has been put on the tracker. And so if you tell me that this is a perform, we should go and track your performance by going to the site to see zero, you know, uh, um, percent projects loaded on this performance track, the tracker. We are wasting our time. And remember that when we came up with a green book, President Ekufuado said that it was full of fantasies. At least, there was no project in the Green Book that was labeled as 0% in the Green Book. No project. Most of the projects that were listed in the Green Book were completed, commissioned projects that had been undertaken by the NDC uh, government. If you check the, uh, 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 the Pond Water Project, the Teshi desalination uh, uh, project, such a huge project, you know. If you check the 3K, the Kumau, Konongo, Kohu water project, these were huge, huge projects. On the contrary, if you go on this tracker, you would find boreholes, boreholes, you know, mundane district level projects, projects that some have been undertaking by the ladies collected the internally generated funds of the district. All of these projects have been loaded onto the tracker. So, for me... Mm, because I, th I think at some point of the tracker, it also breaks down what has been achieved by ministers. I'm sure there should be a part where it tells you what has been done by uh, local assembly, maybe. I, I don't know. But it also gives you achievements of so, management. So you see, when, when, when you, you, you talk about, in governance, generally, when you talk about the achievement of, of, of government as the executive, people want to see very significant, huge projects project. that makes impact in the lives of the people. If we want to be labeling projects that are done at the district level with uh, uh, internally generated funds. I mean, we, we must be serious. Well, if, when you say internally you, generated if, funds, how do you mean? Because I mean, some if, of the projects, well, to, if, the, you, the, if you go to a district, the, let's the say, level of beneficiary is very subjective. Let's say the Nungwa district, mm. where they collect tools from the market. Yeah. Uh, these right. tools from the market, and then they use it to construct a, a borehole for a community then Kojo Opon Kroma carries a camera to go and take a picture of it and load it onto the track and say, this is government achievement. We must be serious. Uh. I mean, this, this must be... And, and for me, it, if you study the... If you watch the interview of the Ashanti Regional Minister, when he was asked to mention sign, 10 significant projects in Ashanti region, mm. the first project he mentioned was a project done by the Rebecca Foundation. Rebecca Foundation... That project was led by the media. I remember, uh, I think, multimedia With led in raising funds, funds, funds from all of us mm -hmm. to go and construct that maternity block. And as a minister for seven to eight years, when you are asked to mention huge or significant government projects, the first project that comes in mind is a project undertaken by a foundation, an NGO. Madam uh, 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 Lodina Mahama, the wife of former President Mahama, has been constructing a lot of health facilities. Recently, she opened one in the Bali district. Mm -hmm. You won't find that in an NDC list of achievements. 
Why? Because we are dealing with serious projects. <coughs> so when we say that we... I think we, you added two. We, <laughs> when we say that we have done well, mm. we mean to say that the taxes we collected from the people, right. the loans we contracted, the revenues we got from our oil uh, production, the grants that were given to us by multilaterals or other uh, uh, international organizations, put all of them together. This is what we have been able to achieve. And so we tell you that we took a loan facility of $100 million to construct the first phase of, a, of a Nkrumah interchange. Then you know that monies have been put to use. If we tell you that some of the loans we contracted were for the Pokriasi interchange, for the Obechebi, Lamte interchange, and for the Tema motorway expansion project, then you would know that we actually borrowed, we actually raised revenue in order to undertake all of these projects. So that is what we want to, we want to see. And we will measure this government by the amount of money, revenues that they have received over the eight-year period. And that's unprecedented. No government come close to Nana Akufuado. He's been the luckiest president ever in terms of revenue generation. It was his time that COVID alone gave him over 21 billion Ghana cities. And we cannot tell what we have used those monies for. It is his time that a, 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 a debt profile has increased from 120 billion to over 600 billion, an addition of close to 500 billion Ghana cities. And President Ekufuado cannot tell us major significant projects that have made impact in the economy. If we constructed the, the Terminal 3 project, which is by far one of the best terminals in, in, on, on the continent, if we took loan from China to construct the gas processing plant in Atuabo, which has a created employment, which is saving Ghana a lot of foreign exchange that we would have used to import gas into this country. Then you would notice that, look, we, we, we have really invested these funds. If you go and check on the tracker and point on factories, you know they have various uh, headings. If you check on the factories, mm -hmm. you would notice that all of the factories, I don't know a single one, that is fully 100% government-funded factory. Mm. I, I can't that point to one. That was primarily... Uh, Private sector by... uh, uh, factories, some of whom had already constructed their factories, they were working, they needed uh, uh, monies for expansion. But government already... Some of them, government the, only... The, the one district, one factory policy was it, it's supposed to be a PPP agreement. It, it, so so it, it doesn't, it it doesn't you, matter the objective. So it reports you see? on some of the factories that are uh, private sector factories and then it, it has been able to revive or support it to revive. I mean, so you cannot tell us that I, I you cannot you tell us that. that the 500 billion you have added to our debt portfolio you can't point to us one factory built by government. Okay. And if <laughs> less than 120 billion NDC can point to the Atuabo gas processing factory. NDC can point to the Commander Sugar factory. NDC can point to the Share Butter factory in, 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 in the Savannah region. So it, it's not just about the objective. Mm. It's about what you have used the money to achieve. That is what we want to really see as your performance. But <clears throat> generally, I would say that how would this performance tracker deal with doom so. so for example if you want to go on the performance tracker this morning i haven't you, seen anything on you, energy you woke up you there's energy there you can see that they said they have increased access to electricity from uh, 80 81 percent to 86 or so just five percent within eight years if you check the the rates you would find that per annum they were doing 0.8 while the NDC was doing 3% from 2009 to 2016 when we left office, mm. we had increased 
our, our access to electricity from below 60% to 80%. And if you, if, you, if you break it down, you find that we're doing an annual rate of 3%. So even with what you have reported, you would see that the NDC has a superior record. But check on the tracker. You, you, are, you, are, uh, you are an allergy. You are Amaria. You want to go for Eid prayers this morning. You woke up, your light is off. You can't iron your jalabia to go. And then they tell you to go and check the tracker. What would that tracker do for you? And you check the tracker, you cannot see any performance of the NPP in terms of energy. No serious indicator to even tell you what they have done in terms of our energy sector. They have not added a single megawatt of electricity generation to uh, 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 installed capacity as we have. They have not done. They have used ESLA to go for a loan and collateralize it for more than 15 years. They can't have money to pay for fuel for a thermal plant. So what, what's, what's the performance so about? So I'm on the Ministry of Energy, and I think the first interface, well, I linked... I, I went to the, um, the, performance, the performance tracker ministries. Then I clicked on the Ministry of Energy. The first page of the Ministry of Energy performance tracker is uh, clean environment. So government is, you know, um, advancing on the clean environment uh, <laughs> policy. And what I see is distribution of improved cooked stoves. That is 97,253. Improved Charcoal cook stove distributed for clean cooking since 2018. You see, What's that? The, Is that something that you were also doing? Of course, under the NDC. You know ab you. about energy conservation and how to yeah. move away and deal with From climate charcoal. change. Yes. I mean, districts were, were giving uh, stove and uh, gas cylinders to... So this policy peasants. is decentralized. Of course, it goes to the district. To the district. And so it's not a new policy by the uh, NPP government. And you did that? Yes. Yes. When you... But it's not in the Green Book. Of course. That's why I'm saying that the Green Book is dealing with serious, <coughs> significant projects. The districts are also mandated you know to talk about their achievements. Because this is very new to me. Oh, yes. Okay, of course. Because I, I we were not, we were not too. We we were interested in dealing with. Uh, I mean, if you want to account for the monies you have, you cannot do that extensively. And so, what you really do is to concentrate on projects that can reflect the amount of money that you, you have, have collected spent. from the people. But on the point that I was making, this performance tracker cannot deal with unemployment. Ghanaians want jobs. People are crying that they cannot get jobs to do. How is this performance tracker able to deal with it? The number of people who are falling below the poverty line in the country today, how is this performance tracker going to deal with it? How is this performance tracker going to reduce the e-levy tax or even abolish it? Okay. How is it going to remove the betting tax? and allow boys to have their <coughs> own space and enjoy the benefits they have from betting. So this performance tracker is not dealing with any problems, any of the problems that we have currently. And so for me, we should put the performance tracker aside and go back to the basics. Government must address the problems that faces this country. They cannot run away from it. President Ekufuado and Mahamudu Baumia cannot postpone their responsibilities and tell us that even though you are paying for e-levy today, when you vote for us in 2025, we are going to scrap it. Scrap it now. We want to see a, a tracker that deals with removing taxes, a tracker that deals with creating employment for people to do, a tracker that will give us a solution to the businesses that have collapsed and those that are on their way collapsing. That is what we want to see. And that is what is going to be the basis 
for Ghanaians to vote. We are not going to be hoodwinked by this uh, uh, creation of digital platforms, populate it with non-existent projects and uh, write projects that are 0% even on all of uh, on, on, on these uh, uh, digital platforms. Right. So <clears throat> the bottom line is that we are going into an election. We are going to measure you on how much you have received and what you have used the monies for. We are mm -hmm. going to measure you on the number of businesses that have been collapsing, those that have collapsed, the poverty in this country, the corruption, the unemployment. These are the issues that are going to drive the minds of the people. Right. Against the uh, very fantastic ideas that President Mahama is bringing up. For example, the 24-hour economic policy. That is going to address the issues of job. Because if we have a three-shift uh, 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 three system, system where people can work in the morning, can work in the afternoon or during the day, and can work over the night, as Guta has endorsed it, TUC has endorsed it, that is what is going to address the unemployment issue. And that is what Ghanaians are going to base on to vote. And many of the uh, uh, polls that have come point to that direction, that Ghanaians have accepted the 24-hour economic policy compared to any other that has been espoused by any of the presidential candidates. Mm. So the top issues today have, have to do with energy, of course, and, and employment. And on the tracker... Uh, as I indicated earlier, I'm on the Ministry of Energy. So we have the distribution of improved cook stoves. We have distribution of solar lanterns at 11,692. The improved cook stove is 97,253. My question is, okay, so if I want to find out who has benefited from this improved cook stove, what am I supposed to do? Go to their homes and check? <laughs> and how do I get access to their homes? And say, I'm, I'm using the government tracker to come and track if you truly benefited from the cooks, uh, you know, the you know what, improved cooks. One interesting thing about these uh, stoves, uh -huh. these were the stoves they were distributing during the Baumia elections. The DCs they were giving it to the... Uh, the uh, Baumia elections? What's Baumia yes, the, elections? the presidential primaries. Uh, but that's not Baumia elections. The, oh, that's what his elections. No. I mean, the entire government no, was no, from... No, no, no. Anyway, the NPP, If they say the thing the about NPP, Mama, you won't like NPP it. presidential elections, mm. these stoves were given to delegates by the DCs. So is it a government project or is a party Yes, they will tell project. you that the MPP uh, members okay. are also Ghanaians. Okay, so I, actually this question, you. I'm just directing it to Nana. So we have the ECG Power App 1, of course, uh, Digital Retail Fuel Monitoring System 1. So the Digital Fuel Monitoring System launched by National Petroleum Authority in 2021. And then the, we have the Electricity distribution, communities connected to electricity distribution from 2017 to 2022 is 2,329. Electricity access rate percentage is 5.51% increase compared to 2016. And, For eight um, years. Yes. Then the national electricity access, okay, that's here. <clears throat> I, I don't think that's an achievement, is it? National electricity. Access. Is that an achievement? I mean, if government is extending electricity to those that do not have, I think yes, but it must be significant. You can't tell me that you have done 5% over a period of eight years. This is, yeah, I mean... If you write the national electricity access and it's 27,949,509, that is the people connected to electricity nationwide. Yes. Uh, as of 2022. But that's not an achievement of government. That is a, an add-on. Yes, that is an talking increase. about the overall access. Uh, oh, overall access. Yes, but if you want to um, disintegrate that and look at their contribution, that's what they say, 5%. Okay. Yes, okay. compared to um, about 20% uh, okay. done by the end. So over okay. the same... Okay, uh, another point I'm, I'm kind of interested in is the gold for oil policy. It says gold for oil policy on fuel price. 45.3% reduction of hey. ex pump price of petroleum products as at <laughs> December. So how do I check? Okay, as a Ghanaian, I'm reading this uh, performance oh. tracker, and I want to check. <laughs> you know, I want to confirm this. What do I do to do the calculation and check? I have to go to the Ministry of Finance 
So it gives the source as Ministry of Finance. So you click on the source and it will take you to the Ministry of Finance. That's for gold for oil. Adiani, you don't even have to check. Electric, the, the cost of fuel today is 70 cities per gallon. Yes. Compared to 14 cities in 2016. So what are you comparing? You are comparing your own record and saying that at a point we increase it so much and uh, at another point a certain policy reduces it marginally. Well, but I mean, it's telling you, you, don't, it's you, don't telling you what gold for oil policy did to the price To correct their own incompetence. That's what they are saying. Mm, Effectively. Well, no, to correct the challenges that we face brought in by Russia and Ukraine war. <laughs> and let's be serious. <laughs> I'm very, very serious. <laughs> I mean, percentage, percentage of contribution to gold for oil policy. <laughs> oil stock purchased through uh, G, uh, gold for oil since... February 2023. So these are all some details. And Anna, you, are, you have some one or two um, responses before I take a break. One or two. Yes. Between the two of you, you've banted on negatives all throughout this period that you've I've asked questions speak. and he had responded. And, uh, you said some very strange things, Annie. Right. I was surprised. Because the point about the tracker is for people like you who are in the media to ask those who are in charge so that they give you the details. You don't ask Brujaj MV. No, but you want to ask not, Bruja no, 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 about tracker, energy no, policy? No, 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 but that's not fair. The tracker because, gives you information. Mm, if you want to ask questions, you don't ask the tracker. No, Nana. The tracker is made in such a way that everybody has access. It's not just for the media. Yes. The media, we will do our job. Yes. Like I'm, I'm talking there, about you. Right. I'm saying that the questions you've been raising here mm -hmm. and asking Bruja to answer, how? How does Bruja answer an energy question about... Uh, a, a question about... Go for oil, and you expect him to give you a positive, true answer? That's why you're here. No, I'm not the energy minister. I'm not a specialist in it. That's why you go there, and then you go to those relevant... You're the journalist, too. If he and I were on the streets at a bar, and this banter was going on, and I was trying to respond to him, that's fine. You're talking to thousands of people. This, your thing goes on a recording, and it stays on forever. So you, as a journalist, you don't do that. You don't do us any favors when you do that. The reality about okay, how can Broja Jemfi and and and, and uh, I have to slow down. Broja Jemfi tells us that the performance tracker should be eliminating e levy, a government policy signed on by Parliament, and a, go a, a website should erase it. And you didn't query him about oh, it. In fact, That's that, what that he said. Me. No, you but, see, and I'm I saying mean, when you were talking, on, I kept so quiet. Say, I'm sure if you were stuck at the studio. Should be removed from the, why are you asking him? When, when, you should check when, your own when, I don't understand why. Baumia, why are you even coming? What he said? When Dr. Yeah. Baumia says that he will remove e in 2025, yeah. is he Parliament? Yes, but the, the government has introduced His something. When he gets elected, so that's the point I'm making. No, that's not what he said. You said that the performance. How you see, I mean, you see what you have done? Going to I'm saying that I sat here quietly I mean. and listened to you, the two of you banter, and you were doing things that did not favor Daniel's anyway. You seem to be inviting me anyway. When you were talking, you think you weren't inviting me when you were giving inaccurate <laughs> statements. You, you, you go when on. somebody tells you that this is an information platform, you go on. I have a right and to, it's to respond to tell to you it, that so. You gave Nana Fridia water, he didn't touch it. That's 0% usage. Is it not a fact? Should it not be told? If you now go and query and say, why didn't you drink it? Is it not you seeking accountability? Mm -hmm. Is it not about transparency? So the fact that it hasn't been done doesn't mean it shouldn't be told. It's a matter of fact. It's human. Mm -hmm. so, it's government so I, resources. as a journalist, state I should be able to so see, we okay, sit, we've seen, I've seen let 0%. Me flow, let me flow, because na -na, you, na -na. you had all the time, and you didn't na -na. ask him it any questions. Same thing I was and it is a ridiculous statement to say that because nothing has been done, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be, be stated. No, but it was How? the same thing I was doing with him. I'm saying that. No, it's not by, the same thing. You didn't ask him why he thinks that when the thing says zero, it shouldn't be posted. what you're saying. So as a journalist, what is this? I what kind of country do we want when we do this type on, of thing? So you have an opportunity I, to I tell the go. truth to Ghanaians, be factual go. about things. Akufuado didn't say he's God. His government has not claimed to be a perfect government. What we have sought to prove to everybody is that we are a better government. Better does not mean maximum. So when you've put out information like this, if you listen to him closely, he has not been able to tell you that the government has failed. Hey. He has not. He has tried, but he has not been able to prove it. In fact, he has created all kinds of very strange conversations. And one of them is, if I'm telling you that I'll be able to do this, and in some instances I haven't done it, and I'm telling you I haven't done it, 
It's a shame. Oh, what is accountability about? And, and then you say something like, E-Levy should be wiped out by a website. E-Levy, a legal policy. When we say legal, it has gone through the processes and endorsed by the people through parliament. It's a, le- it's a legal policy. And somebody should, a, a website, when somebody types in, I don't like E-Levy, then E-Levy should vanish. Okay. I mean, how are we treating Ghanaians when we get opportunities like this to speak? What are we talking about? And, the, and, and uh, 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 Terminal 3 and the gas plant. Who has said that those things were not uh, uh, good for Ghana? Who has said it? The question is, how many Ghanaians benefit from Terminal 3 compared to free SHS? How many Ghanaians benefit from the, the gas plant compared to free SHS? Hello. And continuous. You see, let's, 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 what, what kind of Ghana how do How do you we, mean with that comparison? Uh, yeah, I'm saying, how many people go, to, how many people go on an airplane? Mm-hmm. How many people? When you go to Terminal 3, how many people uh, are flying? And what's the total impact? Is, is, the, is that making Ghana? As opposed to building the human resource we're talking about. People getting skills, go for TVET, free SHS, free TVET. What, what's the, don't you see the value in in building people. Mm-hmm. So, oh, you don't so see you're that saying value. that the value of free You SHS cannot compare the value of, of building free. people <laughs> to putting up an airport terminal that only a handful of people can use. Oh, but that is... Uh, that's what? Quite, that's a strange comparison. Uh, but it, that's it, what he awkward. said. You sat here and listened. Because the classic... He said it too. I didn't. And I'm saying you sat here and listened. Mm. Yes, he said it. You sat here and listened. I'm, the run ra- I'm now raising it... For you to bring to bring to your attention what you allowed to pass. When he talked about the terminal three, yeah. he, was he told saying, us that he, he, he said he, that the government hasn't done anything. He, All of this is a political gimmick, like he people. and then he used this he, as their achievement no, to prove it, that they did better. He and I'm it, saying that. Do you now compare that to free SHS and tell me that free SHS, which reaches every family home in this country, every family home in this country, was this a, a student going through? senior high school or a TVET system is benefiting from the policy. That one. This is a terminal where if you can't buy a ticket, you can't use mm. it. Eh? All right. Ah, you know, and then, the, uh, Annie, mm-hmm. I kept so quiet. I'll, I'll so quiet. To, when, I'll I'll I'll, I'll when I've started now punching your things, you want to take breaks and you want to ask uh, questions in my time and all that. Listen to why me. Why are please. you being unfair? Unfair. You're being unfair. Me, I'm being unfair. Let me tell you why. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. You had please, a chance. Please, go ahead, go ahead. You spoke. Go ahead. And he had a chance. He uh, spoke. Uh, you are taking a second chance, which I'm not going to give him. Why not? So, hey, I'm not going not? to give why him. Why not? No, I want, I want you to give it to him. To I want you to, maybe I'll even plead for him. I, I please, that give him. That you You've created a situation. No, no I agree. Give me. Should, I me, mean, I'm not afraid about that. This is not a... You see, we need to allow our politics to go into serious business. Because... I don't want to leave this earth and not think that my children and their contemporaries in the future have nothing. I know what I came to meet as a human being. I know what Ghana can do. When a government like a Kufuado's government achieves things like this, you don't come and sit on air and say that a website should erase a tax. Hey, what kind of, what are we talking about? All right. And then we allow it to pass. It's a comment. It's politics. Oh, you go for a break. Let and me come let back. me take a break. I'm actually come, under pressure. You know, when you make me finish, then you let him speak too. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Rice, it's me, a mu a diane biara. Yan sioka crebi pe, a munan kikamu. Nani ham nene de di. Delicious. Said your mamma, it's here no pepe. Ya de fortune emu pa abejaso. Dana mua e de. Ma emu a diane nina. Epi a di e de di enkra tu a yatu. This is a call to you. The dreamers. The ones that see no boundaries. Dreamers take a chance. The explorers that chart their own path. Along the vibes connect the energy. The ones that dare to challenge the status quo. Get connected, feel the vibe. And 
others try to think outside the box. You wonder, what box? Catch the wave, enjoy the ride. To the architects of their journeys. Every connection is an opportunity to explore every experience. This is your call to adventure. Your journey begins here. Be bold, be daring, be free. Connecting passions, connecting dreams, connecting ambitions. Telesel, connecting energies. It's good to stay strong together. It's good to share nutritious meals cooked with Phytol, a vitamin A fortified oil. Phytol, you deserve a life of goodness. This advert is FDA approved. We are back bringing you the latest lineup from Betway. Yeah, what me? Betway starts strong with your phone too. With free play Friday and swipe bet. I'm not food now. In the middle, you've got all the control with cash out and build a bet. Plus, with win boost, you can boost your sports bet. At the back, they have smart picks and the partial daily jacket. You always get way more with Betway. As you want to see. This address has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly. No under 18. Terms and conditions apply. Betway. Get way more. In a sin business, Appointed Time Printing Limited has delivered quality service to some of Ghana's well-known brands. With our equipment capacity, we are able to deliver 1,500 pieces of polo and t-shirts in one hour. This is only possible with us. For retailers and wholesalers, we offer for sale high-quality polo shirts and t-shirts in different colors at affordable prices. We have a one-stop shop for all creative designs and billboards, 3D signages, flexi banners, car branding, stickers, and posters. Locate us at the old GNTC building near Swansea Shopping Arcade, Accra. Contact us on 0501 Connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Appointed Time GH, Appointed Time Printing Limited, our printing is a in today's modern world, stairs are a challenge, especially for our elderly and those with health concerns. Navigating them can be difficult and even dangerous, but there's a safer way to move vertically. Lifts and Elevators Limited Company, your answer to a more accessible and secure vertical transportation. Our elevators and escalators, including top-of-the-line pneumatic vacuum elevators, Fuji elevators and escalators, offer a safer and more convenient alternative, eliminating the risks of stairs and enhancing accessibility for homes, businesses, and hospitals. Choose safety and convenience with lifts and elevators limited company. Elevate your spaces today. For more information, visit our website at www.elevatorsgh.org or call now on 0200-535-515. Lifts and Elevators Limited Company, the elevator people. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh bread. I'm a fair missy way. Prepatio Bantama. Machasi. Sasso, Sako. It's a smile, the fresh bread. Me, did you say we used to kill 360 toothpaste? Send me kind. Kill 360 toothpaste. That's Kia. Kill 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. What name Jom Kazan Kazan Kazan? What are you saying? Kel 360 did the way. It's cool, man. Gives me fresh breath and your confidence booster. And you will see so fine in the car when you know. Kel 360 toothpaste. Happy smile. Kel 360 toothpaste. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Kel. Happy smile. This other is FDA approved. Friday all day long. 
seu lamponte, é 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 seu Fortune spread, delicious, creamy, and always on point. This advert is FDA approved. Yeah, then Jama was in part of it for now. What did Rahu Rua? A woman yinky kaya strono eddy. A yesha. Mhm. A moun sahun shisho. Mhm. And a epu a hoon sui. A yinky kaya. <laughs> oh, I should to be. Eh, me. Ma, the Jamal washing powder for fun and sashes I can see in Numa Aba. Eh, ye in Kikaya and Kasa. Ah, ni ma. For Jamal washing powder, but a 30. Can you ma, the bed ya wari? Hey! Jamal. New Jamal washing powder. Eh, ma, ni me niti. Ni musu ye sham. O hukafu a, o ma wanta adie niti. FD aji edwe di enkra ato yatu mu. Welcome back to the program. It's good morning, Ghana. I'm still in the studio with uh, Nana Fredio Furiata and also uh, Yao Buja Jemfi, who is also the deputy uh, director in charge of special duties at the NDC. Nana Fredia is also a member of the MPP, asking me how I'll introduce him next, next year, Godwin. <laughs> I wish, I wish that I would still introduce you as a chairman. You will be chairman forever. Well, hey, as long as you can work. According to the law, you can't do it more than two terms. This is my second term. Oh, really? Yeah. According to the law governing the theater. The theater. Yeah, you can't be chairman for more than Any reason behind that? You can't be director. You can't be a board member for more than two terms. Unless, I think unless you represent an institution or something. But it's that technical. I think one day we will have to. Nanaya and his team, where her team will have to discuss this issue. Uh -huh. So, so a game per game uh, limited is also uh, available. It says that if you want to make some moolah, remember that who's got the moolah got the power. And Ghana's newest lottery game is drawing on Adum TV, 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. daily. Now you can pick up your phones and tablets and download the game per games app on Play Store. You can also play on the website. It's www.gameparkgame. Dot com or dial star nine four six hash on all networks. So choose from the number zero to nine, and it's easy to play, easy to win. So um, game per games is also regulated by the National Lottery Authority. So it's not for persons under eighteen. Play responsibly. Betway cash outs also says Ayesoko and Betway is giving you more control over every thrilling bet you place. Enjoy the biggest and most reliable. Cash out in Ghana on Betway without any hustle. Sign up today at Betway.com. Terms and conditions apply, regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Betway, get way more. Blue Jeans Energy Drink is also available on the market. It's been on the market for 20 years, right? And it provides or contains nutrients including vitamin B2, B3, B6, B12, as well as taurine and guarana, which are known to boost your strength and energy as well as promote high performance and endurance. Blue Jeans Energy Drink has been tested and tried and is indeed the best on the market. Contact them for bulk purchase on uh, Budget Cash and Carry Limited on 0208 128190 or 055 001 000 for Blue Jeans Energy Drink. Lana. I'll allow you to land and then Thank you. a few. I, I, but I'll give you two I'm, minutes. I'm grateful mm -hmm. that you will allow me to. Yes, be yes, to I will. Uh, the I working will. word being allowed. <laughs> and, and I'm grateful that you'll allow Bridget to also have a chance. 
Uh, it must be noted that I supported the fact that he should speak as well. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> Thank you. I'm following in the steps of President Kufuado. Remember that debate <laughs> when he fought for him? Yeah. Let me tell you now, what. Yes. Someone says that. Good morning, mm. Annie. Uh, please, I want to clear something about the trucker. It's captured that road from Nasia, or is it Nasia or Nasia, to uh, Janga Nasia. has been tiled. Mm. It, sorry, has been tarred. Right. Please, this is not true. You can call me to clarify it. Good. Someone wants to make an... Okay. Um, okay. So it's this going is someone to come up in the coming weeks. Yeah. I mean, the so it will be themselves. coming up, that, right. That, that is, is the, the value, that is the value of this. Mm. So, you see, did you hear what he said? It will discredit it. That is not the value of it. The value of it is for you to verify. And when you, you see, you ask, like, this goes into the next point I want to make. You ask the question, who do you ask? That's not the question to ask as a journalist. But ask the public, yes. And I'm so. Well, I mean, I was not referring to myself. Well, I speak for the people. Well, then, you, but you should be able to tell the public mm. that that's why the MCs and DCs and others were at the tracking mm. event. <laughs> that's why they were there because they are the local representatives of the president right. and the government. Mm. That's why you go to them. You should ask your assembly member what he or she has done to make sure that some of these things have happened. Mm. Did they have a role? If they didn't, who did? You go and ask that person. But where did it come from? That's the point. Uh, it, and talking about and the Kufuado should have been part of the tracker. Are you serious? That the president should have been there because he doesn't meet the press and therefore he should have been on the tracker. Hey, that's number two ridicule right there. The first ridicule was e levy must be raised by the tracker. Second one, the tracker must have uh, proof that President Kufuado speaks to the press. He has, a, he has delegated. You see, that the thing about democracy and the thing that we must all learn is that the system is created so that there's delegation of authority. That is why he has ministers. That is why he has deputy ministers. That is why he appoints MCs. Remember when he asked, when he asked Nana, us, the Nana, Ghanaian public, Nana, Nana, that we should, Nana, Nana, if, the, we should elect our own MCs and DCs. Meet the press. The, 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 the press series. And people pooped it. They meet the press yes. series at the Ministry of Information. Yes. It's something that every president, every government has engaged in at the Ministry of Information. Nanado made a specific uh, not, ev not, 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 not every president under the Fourth Republic. Oh, Some presidents. Meet the press series Some at the Ministry of Information. Yes. It you happens said under ev every government. You said every president. No, I said it happens under every government. Uh, so this government the has done it. This government so, does it. So, I'm so saying what are that, you saying? Yeah, so he, his direct uh, assurance and promise that I will meet the as the president. That is something that you should account to us. What, Have you what, been able the, to achieve that? What, no, it's not a performance tracker. It's, it, and, and the next thing is, what's that got to do with the meet the press at the ministry? You, you're saying that they because should delegate the authority. The I'm minister, saying that that yes. happens already. And, and that's where you go for information. I'm answering your question. Who do you ask? That's where you go for information because he has delegated. Let's do roads, roads minister, roads department, blah blah blah. Uh, down to the municipality or the district, what's happening there. So if this person about Nasea says it's not true, you go there and find out. Mm. Go to Tejimentia and find out if it has happened. <laughs> go to all these other places where they are very ready to publicly state how impressed they are about Osam. So let's not act as if they aren't people to ask. Mm. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, if you go to some DC or MC and they can't answer questions, they have a responsibility to you to show why they couldn't answer that question. Right. It is their responsibility to make sure that everything on the tracker is answerable. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's one thing. And, and uh, this matter of uh, uh, trying to ridicule a Kufuado and he's good at reading, blah, 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 really. And, uh, who, who, who fought for press freedom in this country? Was it Mr. Mahama? Was it Mr. Mahama? Mr. Mr. President Kufuado, he owned a newspaper and fought for people to have press freedom. Mm. So let's not even get, get in mm. there. Now, I don't know why in the beginning, when he started the state, I think he was looking for ways to settle into the conversation. So he started with your delivery tracker. Irrelevant. Delivery tracker. When you raised it, I thought it was relevant. When he raised it, I found it very relevant. Why was that interesting to him? Because he was looking for ways to begin his propaganda and things like that. It doesn't sit. Here are the real issues. His comments, and therefore the NDC's opinion about governance in this country, has been revealed by his, his, his statements this morning. Very revealing about how they don't really have a plan for Ghana. One, when they propose something like that, look, 
in my company where I work, some 40 years ago, we were selling in the night at dawn. 40 years ago. Then their president, the PNDC, came. AF, uh, Air Force, then PNDC came. And they shut those opportunities down. Then slowly, the fight for democracy and things brought those things back. You know how many companies in this country operate 24 hours? Plenty. Plenty already. It is, in fact, certain, uh, some of their certain inept decisions and policies that have put a lot of people out. And they're now they're reviving it again. They're reviving it again. A lot of industries have come into this country now. A lot. Including all those car companies that are coming. Do you know that Ghana used to produce different types of vehicles from motorcycles to pickups to buses to, to, uh, to, to uh, uh, vans? This is uh, uh, LT, they call it. These vans that they have become trot or Mercedes vans that are uh, 204. Two, 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 yeah, 207. Two, 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 okay. We were producing them. They were called Adam in Ghana. We had a Thomas motorbike. It was these, the antecedents, they came and shut those things down and started selling them. Uh, the revelations, let's not go there. So when we want to talk about managing an economy, when you set up the infrastructure, the 24 hour thing they are talking about, if I'm running a food produce company and I want to bring in food from detriment here to Accra to process, if the roads are not done properly, go and ask the detriment here people the difference between yesterday and today. If the roads are not done properly, do how know, do I transport Do you know this argument, the same argument that was good, being done about free SHS? Which is? Which is build the schools, get, um, have them have access no, before you allow not the same. to cram all the children. It's not the same. They're two different things. Getting uh, children to school should not wait for buildings. Otherwise, our forebears who sat under trees would not have gotten an education. Well, you see, you, you cannot straight jacket our lives. Okay. You cannot okay. straight jacket our lives. The bottom line about this, there's so many things one would say about uh, the utterances this morning from the other side. The bottom line about this, I'm pleading with Ghanaians. Let's not straight jacket our thinking. When you go on the tracker, it is for you to see the things like this person saw in us. If you are not satisfied, there are people you can go and query. The thing is, the, 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 it's to bring back feedback into the system. Uh, and that's where we should find out how do we, do we get feedback into the system and if there's a way you right. do it I haven't gone on the tracker yet so I don't know for you know there's a feedback uh, opportunity there where you can say when I went to the DC he couldn't answer my questions he didn't even give me time mm. let's report those things right. so that we can because this information right. is for the people Roger uh, it is not I the to, negatives I want to ask you about and the, the, uh, everything is not good your kind issue of with the AC on the machines that you are complaining about so just yes, yes, but this issue too is yeah. uh, equally important. Um, I'm, I'm very surprised uh, Nanette's reaction to <laughs> some of the issues I raised. Um, for me, it's unfortunate that he has a narrow understanding of what I actually wanted to communicate. What I'm saying is that Ghanaians want to see the performance of your government. We want to have a feel. We want to see your policies impact on our lives. We want to see the abolishment of the E-Levy. That's what we want to see. And so we want to see it in your performance tracker that, that E-Levy has been abolished. Wow. Oh, no. Uh, you, you can't have it that still way. repeating this. How can't we have it? Because it's still in use. So and I am it's saying that... It's, it's a, please, it's a, it's a, listen to me. No, by to so to I am saying that government fixing. must abolish the E-Levy. So, and so, put it in the... No, 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 please, you don't tell me how I make happen. my point. It won't happen. Please, please. It won't happen. Yes, I mean, you show... You have to respect my views also. Yeah. So when you say it won't happen... It won't happen. We put you in government. Well, we have the right to ask you questions. It's not the performance when you say it won't happen, that will erase the It's a display of arrogance like to the sentiment of Ghanaians. Who has said that he should like What it? we are saying is that who has said he should you like made it? promises. 
and you continue to make them. Tana, please, please, billion when you were speaking and I tried to interject, mm. you asked me to shut up. Uh, no, no, I didn't ask please. you to shut up. That would be very rude. I, I, I don't talk like that. Mm. So don't say, oh, don't you use just, words. You just said that it won't happen. Mm. Don't, no, and when you use, I'm talking about those two words. It is up. the same. It I, has the same effect. No, you said it won't happen. No. What I'm saying is that you, you, your presidential candidate is promising the people of Ghana that his government has introduced e-levy. When his government's tenure ends in 2025 and his government come to office in 2025, he will abolish e-levy. Mm -hmm. And I am saying that why can't you abolish the e-levy now so that we can see it in your tracker? We good. can track that, yes, e-levy has been abolished. That's the point I'm making. Oh, now you have to Please, your please, words. Nana, please. You are polishing please. your words. And when I say that President Kufuado should avail himself for the Ghanaian media to subject some of these things to strict proof, what I mean is that he promised that he was going to be accessible and available to the media 24-7. Since 2019, this media engagement at the Flagstaff House or at the Castle, or whatever it is, has not come on. And I am saying that it is one of the tools that the Ghanaian people through the media can subject the president to accountability. So it is not just the publication or the launch of a tracker that will tell us that the government is being accountable. So that's what I mean in that context. <laughs> now, if you say that zero status on Agenda 111, in the bottom part. It's, it's good to be on the performance tracker. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You want to track your performance. Is that not so? <laughs> and so if you think that every promise you made, you need to report on it. Then we want to see all the failed promises on the performance tracker. Mm. Exactly. And then, and then when you, we report, Nana, please, when Nana, we report, please, please, you please, please. Why did you report? So I am saying that you, you, why you, you are yourself? being deceptive. Somebody has told you that you are being said, deceptive. This aspect of when it, you I report, been able to Nana, do. please. You say why did you put when it? you report you that why agenda you one, 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 what kind of contradiction is that? Zero oh, status. Zero percent status. Mm -hmm. We want to see the three hundred and fifty SHS cool. that you promised to construct. Mm -hmm. We want to see it in the performance so that you put all of them. Be consistent. Be consistent. Double standard. Yes, because you want to deceive us, Nana. That's what he said before. Now he's changing his mind. We want to see. We want to see. I mentioned that if you go on the tracker, you cannot see the construction of concrete roads. We don't listen. We want to see that when you go to the Ministry of Roads and the roads construction, we want to see concrete roads status zero percent. That's what we want to see on the tracker. We want to see the Odona Recreational Center when President Kufuadu carried the media to the, the circle mm -hmm. Odona. Mm -hmm. And the man was there, if you watch the video, very interesting. The man was there showing us where the hotel will be located, where people can enter the, the pool, uh, where it will be a recreational center. You have, you have seen Odona that video. The Odona Recreational Center, was it captured in the manifesto? It doesn't matter. In President Kufuadu carried the media people I'm to the place. I'm asking that because... I, I, I don't the have them. People I don't... Meet. They, they meet. said that they were going to... Oh, uh, yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 they said that they were going to... point is not supported. They were going to, ah, were going to yeah, develop the Kole Lagoon. Yes. Eh, to the extent that you could even go and fish mm. from the Kole Lagoon. Mm. We want to see that on the tracker and say 0% status. Mm. If you cannot do that, you cannot be picking and choosing and populating the tracker with things with that you have, things that, 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 that you have not done. done. That you have, that you have done. not done. Uh, when you say zero percent, uh, you have not done it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the context no, I want that, to. That, what about, about, that, 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 now, what about the ones we have done? Now about, about, about the about projects that. that they are appropriating, projects that belong to the NDC. There are many of them. Somebody sent you a message about it. I have seen somebody <laughs> post now he's claiming uh, an administrative stuff. block at the Anumabo uh, <laughs> Fishes School, mm -hmm. which was built by the NDC, which is in the tracker. Just give Ghanaian people a, a matter of one week. Right. This performance tracker will be discredited. Mm. Just to finish on the point of a 24-hour economic policy, let me say it here and now. 
that there's no 24-hour economic policy being implemented in Ghana. It's never happened in Ghana before. Nobody can tell us that because a chop bar operates up to midnight, that is a 24-hour economic policy. It means that they do not understand the policy that President Mahama wants to introduce. Because it's difficult government to understand. Has not offered, not this, government anything. has not offered reduced electricity tariff for any company mm. or industry or tax incentives to operate mm. the you reduce the the system. system. Government has not given financial support to any company to operate a trade shift system. And government has not offered any tax incentive or tax reliefs for any company or business to operate a trade shift system. What President Mahama wants to introduce in 2025 is something that has never happened to this country. It is a deliberate, conscious policy to ensure that businesses employ more hands and the, 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 the cost of production reduces and we increase production in order to meet the needs of the people so that we can also substitute certain products that we import into this country. Mm. This is what the 24-hour economic policy is about. It is not about a job bar operating midnight. Mm. In fact, when businesses... Uh, join the 24-hour economic policy and they begin to operate a, a three-shift system such that even at dawn they are operating, food vendors will automatically come on board because when they make themselves available to sell, there will be persons available to buy. That is what the policy is about. And so they do not understand the policy and the, the ways that this policy is making in the political system currently, <laughs> they are worried. Yeah. And in fact, they are dazed about it. So they try to find every means to discredit it. Mm. But so, it does not so, state. So, the, so Mansa the, Musa, the polls have reflected that mm. Ghanaians have accepted this policy. Okay. <laughs> Mansa Musa from UK is asking an Africa a question. You know, you said, uh, but you are not the minister or something like yeah. that. So Mansa Musa says, so what are you doing on the program? I have one If you don't have answers. He's and, the, and, the you, and you have... And you have you the have chairman for national theater, right? And you yes. have the MPP you have promised that important. they are going to build. You have found it important. They are going to build well, one theater in also. each region, mm -hmm. starting from Takrade, Tamale, and Kumase. Mm -hmm. Report to us, the tracker, performance tracker. Okay, we'll go on there and put it there. Now, ah, ah, why? You can't tell uh, us here. Uh, no. I'm not is that you put it on the tracker? You, I put it on the Did tracker. You know, yeah. That tracker where you the want... The tracker you have already you want, the, the that you want. The tracker you want... And they will go and put 0% yes. on yes. the tracker. You want okay. the levy to be raised on that tracker. Go okay. there and find out about the theater. <laughs> <laughs> and you want the... the Kuvado's voice on the tracker. Nana, so go there. Nana, let me remind you. Let, 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 I'm surprised that you read uh, Mansa Musa's question to me and to the public. I'm surprised. Do you invite ministers here alone? No. Is he a minister? No. So why? What he's saying is that... No, what are you saying? Because why would you raise what, what the point he, he raises? He, as a viewer, yes. is saying is that if he's watching you, he mm. knows that I've invited you because yeah. I know that you have answers to certain questions. Right. So if he's watching as a viewer, he expects that you are able to provide certain answers. But if you say that, but I'm not a minister, he will be lost as a viewer. That's why he's also but asking. I, I think it's fair. fair. No, I mean, I when you said that, I, I was pricked, but I didn't want to interject. But am I the minister? So... You see, let's stop pretending and creating all kinds of impressions. Is he... Is Tara, he, you are in charge of National Theatre. Tell he, us about is the he, one uh, 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 Mr. Mahama's deputy or something. No. No. Why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? You, you don't bring ministers here on these topics. Nana, can we do so, the theatre? Uh, brother... No, 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 it's not no, about, it's not about ignore ignoring him. No. It's ignore about focusing. Brother... I will not answer your question. Okay. Now, the issue Thank is, you. Yes, I mean, good. at least the yeah, public... I will not. Because when you come up here and tell me that E-Levy should be scrapped on the performance tracker, how do I now answer your question? Here is... I, I, didn't, hear, I didn't hear your question, but I don't want to hear it. Yeah, it's that a strange question. One, one, he says that the theater promised him as an answer. Mm -hmm. One and I'm region, saying that you, you find the... the you are tracker, the board of the national theater. theater. You, you may have the knowledge... About the now, building yes. of theaters in the regions. Yeah, I will not so answer give us the question. An update on I it. will not answer it. Okay. Here's the. Uh, uh, by the way, you know the tracker is a dynamic instrument. Every day, when new things are done, they will be put there. But hey, Broja, 
That is very contradictory. But, but, Remember, I asked you about the delivery the tracker. tracker. Yes. You and you said there's, not, uh, there's nothing wrong with doing Did a I new one. Did I delivery tracker you, right now? No, I asked you about delivery tracker. Yes, that that why didn't we update that? Good. Why did, did we have to create another site Then what did for I say? performance? And you said we don't really need to do, uh, update it. Or I, we said don't that need are, I said there are project sites. Yes. No? Isn't that what I said? Yes, you said. You so. didn't understand that. Ah, I didn't understand I'm what asking that you, their project Did sites. you understand me when I said it is a project? And so it had served its purpose. purpose. And that websites can be created for projects. And so after a certain period, they end. Did you understand so, me when so I said I that? So I am saying No, that. no, please, 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 step by step. Did you understand me when I said that? Now, now when you asked me if I understood when you said that, yeah. that is very condescending. Because of what you are asking me. Because I'm telling you, what, what I just said to you is that the uh, performance tracker, mm. well, therefore I'm referring to today's tracker, I said that it is a dynamic instrument. So as and when things are being achieved, the information will be put there. Mm. You didn't hear me say that. And then you now take me to the delivery tracker, which I've told you, is, that, is you, by your own submission, is obsolete. And yet you say, I should answer no, that. No, 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 no. I don't understand. No, 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 no. I did not in any way made a point that it's obsolete. I in did. fact... You did. You I said stopped. that... It, why did they stop using it? Yeah, in fact, I thought... And, I, and I confirmed that, that it could have been they updated. stopped using it because it's a project site. One project, it's over. So it's done with... We, we're done with of that. Of course. That's what right. I said to you. That's why okay. I asked you, did you understand me? Okay. Now, I'm saying on this Mansa Musa question, it, for me, it's a key question. It's good he asked. But you should have clarified, and not me, because you don't invite ministers here. You invite spokespeople. You invite people you think should have insight into certain things. Mm. If in my submission mm. I state a truth, it should not ridicule me. Unless you want to tell me that every time people come here, they should kind of lie to the public. Mm. I am not a minister. The details of a road being constructed at the Chimentia is not in my hands. In fact, the tracker directs us to the ministry. So why mm. should I, That's the answer Mansa Musa should be given. Mm. He should appreciate that uh, everything put aside, I'm probably just like him. The difference is that I probably ask more questions. I go and knock on certain doors that maybe he doesn't knock on. Have access. You, you understand? Mm. Yeah. But I don't come, I'm not going to come and sit here and pretend to be a minister when I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> not I, I don't happen. think I introduced you as a minister. Thank you. Well, and, and if you could please let, give me let, let what, me, just one minute. Say, no, touch on, let, let, touch on let me just remind Egyptians. viewers that we'll be the, giving you the Islamic celebration, the Muslim Eid Mubarak celebration, um, as and when it starts. We're monitoring, uh, you know, how it's going, and we'll bring it to you. I, right. Nana made a statement um, when he sought to compare the Terminal 3 to free SHS. To free SHS, okay. And I thought that that was unfortunate because, you see, Terminal 3 is a national asset. It's a strategic asset, which gives the country revenue, revenue. to fund the free SHS. And so if you attempt to downplay the impact of Terminal 3... As compared that, to free that, that's, SHS. That's unfortunate. That's that very unfortunate. You, you see, because one, when you don't listen, one, this is one, the cost of One it. realizes is that the other. I, mean? I actually uttered words that you, said that. You have, you, this, this are you have misquoted me. very clear. And, what I and said, said to there you was lots of things that I you, didn't see here. Nana, you please allow me. And, Nana, and tried to say I don't know that why this was more Nana important has been very than agitated than the things that have been put. Because you have not seen that. What's the point you made about those two policies? What he said mm -hmm. was that the tracker, uh, the government has done nothing and the tracker is, uh, uh, is misinforming people. He said, and then he, he said, went he ahead. The tracker had captured local government yes, and, achievements. But he is looking at magnificent policies like... The airport, is that not what and, you said? And, uh -huh. Yes, and when I responded, I said that things like the terminal, terminal and the three. gas plant are national assets. Mm -hmm. But do they touch homes like the free SHS policy, which is poo pooing? Okay. So, that's what I said. Okay, that's a clarity. So you I did not say okay. that the terminal you three, see. it would be ridiculous. I use it. <laughs> I use terminal three. But you said, there are a whole bunch but, of but, other but, people but who use but, but does said, it reach but, every home? No, but you said. The human resource, building yes. of human resource, yes. is more SHS. valuable. Thank you. Okay. And is that not true? Okay. Yes. That's not that one is a matter of... Okay, that's not true. Nana, you please. mean that putting so up a table is more this important than getting everybody educated? This morning, morning, uh -huh. educated. This morning mm -hmm. you appear to be very agitated. Yes, because you are, you are the busy host. 
you are attacking busy. Attacking me. Yes. I the mean, host was helping you respect. You, propaganda. you have to respect our viewers. Uh, 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 you can't be agitated uh, by me helping you. At least you I'm, 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 you're, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm your I'm your, 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 your love affair. I'm your but junior brother. brother. Oh, yeah, if, now he's trying to create If I were, if I were to be, he's trying to create blood relationships. He's trying to create blood relationships. I respect what you said. He's trying to create blood relationships. The point I'm making is that Terminal 3 is a strategic national asset. And Terminal 3 feeds the country a lot of revenue. If you see the traffic in Terminal 3 and the amount of money that it gives to the Ghana Airport Company and even gives to the, the country Ghana, you cannot downplay its impact. And it is some of those monies that are picked from the consoli Consolidated Fund and are located to fund the free In fact, when Anna said that, I was now, the thinking second... about the numbers, but I wasn't sure of the daily stats of Terminal 3. So I didn't want to really... The, the, the second but point, the second look point at the numbers that, and the traffic there, no, of course... That, you look that at the Nana, social benefits that I think the That I think that Nana should not country. make in this era. You see, in the past, maybe pre-2008 or maybe 16. Who say that? Oh, Kufuado is a human rights lawyer. Is a champion of human rights. Please, he's the worst performing government oh, in terms of press freedom. It doesn't expect, West, West. We don't expect anything. In 2024, so that's 2024. Right. In fact, not less than not too long ago, mm. a young man who had made a post about the first family, mm. the president and his wife, mm. a factual statement, mm. was picked up from his room. Taken elsewhere and beaten. Is it fact? And no, beaten. Have you heard the story? Um, that, and you that, say that. Well, I know the story you you're talking that, about, but the police denied. Yes, but they, it does not. It does not. It, it, that they it, picked him up. But they, 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 they the, the police are not saying that what the gentleman is reporting is not true. In mm -hmm. fact, there are witnesses in the house okay. who said that some persons came there claiming to be up. police officers, abducted him for almost 24 hours. If you listen to the chilling story of that gentleman, mm. even though he appears to attack mm. people on social media, but you cannot say that Ander Kufuado is a champion of uh, uh, press freedom and he championed for uh, the repeal of the criminal libel law. You can't say that today. The record speaks for itself. There are many journalists who have been attacked under President Kufuado. Journalists who have fled from their homes, some who have fled from the from the country, because of attack on press freedom. And so, please, we may have accommodated this pre-2016, not in 2024. Okay. There's no record mm. to support that Ekufado is a champion of human rights and, okay. or press freedom. And my counter uh, okay. to that, my yeah. counter to that is simple and straightforward. First of all, if we want to talk about records. You don't have a clean record. Okay. In fact, you have a zero clean record, zero percent clean record. <laughs> People had to fight you in order to speak. So you want in, to compare in your, your in democratic You're the one who wants to do it. I'm not to interested. Era. That's fine. Military. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and fine. the NDC, right. under your government, you, government, you were part of that government. Mohammed government, when people, right. uh, 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 so parliamentarians, beaten in Happy Jubilee Mubarak. House. Are we... Hey. Are, 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 they, are they, you they forgotten? Nanka oh, Bruce is okay. the beaten in Jubilee Nanka okay. Bruce. Nana, so I'm not interested okay. in this type of conversation. Maybe before there's, you go. There's nothing what, what uh, progressive or productive the, um, about it. It will just be back and forth. With the BBD and the laptops you are raising, you have some 35 questions. A quick yes, one. Yes, yes. I, 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 I mean, you insist that we, you should talk we, about we it in, in one minute. We are of the Electoral Commission. And for me, it comes at a time where we are trying to build, you know, a new uh, uh, rapport with the EC in terms of the relationship that existed between us and, and them. Our return to IPAC has been very effective. Was it yesterday or two days ago? No, I'm saying that we have returned to IPAC no, no, and we have attended. Yes, we, we called for an emergency meeting because the minority leader in parliament had alleged that, that some uh, biometric verification devices were missing or mm -hmm. stolen from the EC. The Electoral Commission came to say that that was not true. How did the minority leader and find that, out? I mean, we have, we have because of, the, because of the, the way our opponents <coughs> are going to run this election, we are on high alert. 
do, and we do, have, we do have parties, high level intelligence <coughs> at the electoral commission. Do parties have both in government and have, at the electoral commission? Okay, do parties have access to serial numbers of all our machines and systems no, we use, it, like on, the BVD? Unless they deploy them. Okay, when you only get them it, upon deploy. Yes, when they deploy, we get to okay. know what they have what they have deployed. Okay. Now, when the minority said that, the EC said that it was not true, but uh, was it yesterday or a day before? The day before. When we went for the IPAC meeting, mm -hmm. they confirmed that some BVDs, they claimed that they were destroyed in uh, Pristia or uh, Takwa in Swahim. And when we asked for the debris, they could not produce it. And so... Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm hearing something else now. Because I heard it's not BVDs that so are stolen, but rather laptops. Okay, so hold on. There are two devices that EC works with. They have biometric verification devices, mm -hmm. which we use to vote. When you go, they verify you. Right. And they have biometric voter uh, 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 registration kits, okay. which is what they use for the registration. Now, when we said that, when the minority leader said that biometric verification devices were missing, they said no. It is rather some laptops which were missing. Mm -hmm. Now, when they say laptops, they are referring to one component of the voter registration kit. Devices. When you go and they are registering you, yeah. they use the laptop to make the entries. Okay. It is one of the kits. Without it, the registration kit is not complete. I hope you get right. it. And that's the source of the entry. Okay. Before they now, if it's online, it goes direct. Mm. If it's offline, they copy it on pen drive and go to their district offices and upload it. Now... They said that no, no biometric device were missing. At the meeting, they now conceded that some biometric devices are missing. And they have also, uh, uh, they also agree with us that some components of the uh, registration kits are also missing. And we are asking questions that these are uh, equipment of the EC. They are like the, the military and the army. You can't say that some guns or ammunition at the barracks are missing, and we cannot tell how they got missing. But they won't affect Nobody it. has been won't. arrested. It, and it won't affect because there were not bullets in it. In it. Okay. Can you imagine mm, that? Mm, mm. That there were not bullets in the, in the ammunition that are missing. And so nobody would die because we have the ammunition here. Safe. You can't tell us those stories. So we want to know that there are CCTV cameras at the EC. These things, they, are, they keep record of them. In fact, when they release them, anybody who is transporting it must sign and take records of every item that is being taken from there. Mm -hmm. So we want to know whether they made a police report, what's the progress of the investigations, what is the CCTV cameras telling us. Because we believe that the things, even though they are missing, they are in the hands of some people. They want to use it for some diabolic affairs. They have told us, the MPP have told us that they won't win this election based on their performance. They are going to win based on strategy. And if they, you tell us... The MPP has also said that they, they, they won't win election based on EC rigging in their favor. They, they, will win, they must not say that they, they will win when you... When they tell us that they won't hand over. Not, not monitor your vote. Then they tell us that they won't hand over. We know what they and want to do. you're going to spend okay. your minutes talking we know, about this. We know what they, they want to do. tell me that I can't say anything. So, okay. Nana, please... We know what they That's want what to do. See, and so in, our intelligence are at the ah. peak. We, we get to know everything that is going on, the recruitment and how they want to skew the recruitment to put in politically tainted persons and all that. We know everything that is going on. So we want to move a step further to find a way of auditing the IT system of the EC okay. so that all of us can have trust in that system. And this will not be a, a, a novelty. In 2012, the MPP requested mm. for an audit in the system that the EC was going to use. And it was granted. Mm. So if you have nothing to hide, eh, if you know how to do your job, you don't fear the white man. So allow open it. Let, us, let us investigate the system and know that everything is right. All right. We have other things coming up. I, I, I don't have the mandate to speak on to speak okay. on those issues so but there are a lot of issues going on at the ec we know exactly whatever they are doing how they are conniving with our opponents to steal the elections we know everything and as the days unfold we'll come up 
That's the a wild allegation. The that yes, the EC yes, is conniving yes. we'll with your them, opponents. You will see, you, you, you notice a, a lot of them. And we'll bring empirical evidence. When we said that biometric devices were missing, they said it is not true. They went to IPAC and confirmed it. When we said that uh, biometric voter registration kits are missing, they said it is not true. They are laptops, as if these were laptops for kids to play. They are laptops that they use for registration. And so somebody can be sitting in, in his room making entries. No, they've clarified in, that after elections, the laptops are put to sleep, which means that all data that were up uploaded on the laptops are deleted. So what happens to the new data the person will put on it? I'm not sure if what, after you steal it, you can yes, still you, link but, to the but, network. But after deactivating it, don't they reactivate for the laptops to work? We are going to start registration on 7th of next month. <laughs> but do they do mass are they not all? And if your laptop, you have your, your uh, serial numbers of the laptop, and you know that this and this and this have been stolen, you, you def definitely will have to remove them from the list Who of serial numbers them? you are activating. Who will remove them? Uh, the IT team of the Electoral Commission. Yes, that's the point we are making. Maybe led by... So if, if you, the one who is in charge of the system, assuming, has given the laptops to somebody else to do something bad, and you come to tell us that, oh, I have deactivated it so the person cannot enter the system. How do we trust you? Okay. So it's not just a word of mouth. No, exactly. no. His last statement shows how ridiculous this whole thing is. It's totally ridiculous. You've assumed everything on the negative because that's how your mind works. How can we live like that in Ghana? Because you don't have anything to say about the real growth and development policies on the ground, you're skewing your eye onto the EC. Isn't it interesting that when we hear from the chairman of the NDC, it's, a, it's an attack on the EC. He doesn't talk about policies. It's an attack on the EC. All of this thing, now NDC has become a CID. They go, to, they get, they go back to IPAC. And instead of raising the issues there, they want to come and raise it in the public. So that it does what? Create a certain impression. We raise it at instead of dealing with the EC at the IPAC. The These questions, is that I pack that you ask? Who that the EC asks? What, what, what are you putting it in public for? Why? Are you, what, what do you want an Afri there? Again, I'm not an EC uh, guy. So am I going to be able to answer these questions? Why do you put it in the public? It's because you want to create a negative impression about the EC because of a weakness on the ground as a, a party seeking power. That is why he, they are doing what they are doing. What is the, he gave you, she gave you six minutes. What information again? I am telling she you gave you six minutes. All you did was that. All you are doing that is that you are trying to create an impression for the public to have a negative feeling and think about the EC. When, we have raised it when the issue. real issue is that these are questions you ask the EC. I know you don't come and ask Ami or Nanafridia. You go to the EC. When they come and ask you, what are you going to say? All you're going to think is, hey, the EC, they are bad. Oh. And that's the impression they are trying to create. That's all they are interested in. So that now when they've lost the election, they'll say the EC stole it and that they connived with NPP. I mean, what a ridiculous proposition. Uh, uh, where do we, are they really thinking about how Ghana should go? Really, that's the question. Because this is not a, a, a mature approach to dealing with. After how many What's years? What's the mature approach when you know Deal that with devices... The hold on, hold on. Devices have been missing. You complain about it that devices have been missing. And the, the EC, EC comes out yeah. to deny right. that it is not true. Right. Only for you to go to IPAC and then the EC confirms that it was missing at some constituency at some point. But and the, could not even, it was destroyed, not even missing, it was destroyed. Good. But could not even provide, you know, when machines are destroyed, you should have the pieces of it together right. or something. It, 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 you see, and, I mean, I see things differently. So this is a question I would respond based on my thoughts, personal. EC is not obliged EC is not obliged, it's not written anywhere in any of their mandates that they must provide that information. Which if when they, that something is missing. Yes. Mm. When they do, it's out of courtesy. So when they accept, they tell you that it is not missing, but it was damaged. Is it missing? And because they didn't show you a piece, therefore it was missing. I mean, how ridiculous can we be? The maturity is, you go there, They've asked you, if you have proof that it's missing and you put it to them and they deny it, I think the public deserves to know. And you have every right to put it out here. But these questions, uh, status of missing kids, have the missing registration kids been located? 
Is Mansam Musa going to be able to answer and this I'm question? You so why are you asking? Why are you, why are you putting it to the, the public? IPAC meeting it's because you want to destroy the image of. Why are you refusing to accept that? To IPAC. Yes. These are questions. So why, 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 why should you come into the public domain? Doctor Omani Boama spends time wants to ask the all these questions unless you want the public to feel that. Okay. You, you, they should have a certain thinking about, and that's okay. And, and that too feeds into their uh, incompetence. Okay. In, on matters of okay. governance, mm. and rather they would rather zero in on right. easy chaskele no, no, type of things. No, no, thank you. That thank you. This thank you. Poli just thank you. Chaskele <laughs> politics. Let's take care, breather. Uh, uh, am I having um, trends? Is trends coming up? Uh, let me know. I, th I think that's the term I okay. should start using. Okay. Just I, I, can, we, can we have, I mean, a minute to, wish, to wish our Muslim we brothers. Oh, oh Nana. Nah. Wish them. Wish them. Nana, why? Wish because you are very dangerous. Oh, no, no, don't You're worry. Please dangerous. wish them. Yes. Uh, Lawyer Kakri, okay. someone has a message for you. Oh, my brother. Now, now <laughs> no, talk about brothers. That's my brother. Uh, so we want to wish our Muslim brothers a uh, happy Eid. Uh, we pray that Allah accepts all the prayers and the fasting that they have done for a period of one month. And we wish them well as they uh, celebrate today. And we <clears throat> also want to caution the Zongo youth and the Muslim youth. Uh, you know, in occasion like this, they have a street carnival, mm. what they call the Gangara. Oh, okay. And many times, uh, because of the, uh, the joy and the nature of the street carnival, it, it, it sometimes results in uh, accidents and all that. We, we, want to, we want to appeal to the young people to celebrate. Uh, they should be measured in their celebration. Right. And we also want to assure them that former President Mahama has promised that he's going to review the Holidays Act and add on additional holiday for the Eid the Filter and the Eid the Other. Ah. You notice that sometimes, because of the different sects, the fasting, some people have to Eid fast 29 days, some fast 30 days because of the sighting of the moon. Mm. And so some people did the prayer, their national or the festival prayers yesterday. And the national imam is doing uh, uh, today. So, because of that, it affects the holiday allocated to them. So, President, some actually started so President Mahama is saying that we are not going to add on new holidays, but we will review the holidays the act. Ones. There are many unnecessary holidays this government has introduced. We can turn one of them into a Muslim holiday for them so that they are able and suggestions to celebrate as their, as bank the holidays. To, because sometimes where they, they are or where they come up within the week or the working week, it, 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 it distorts. Exactly. So if we have two holidays for it, they will have enough time to prepare for their prayers and for the celebration mm. as well. So mm. the NDC uh, mean well for you. The, 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 the Quran says that uh, the one who loves the religion, the one who loves the religion is the one who is your brother. The one so who loves the religion. Mr. Yes. Is the one who is your brother. The one who thinks about the holy Have you been a Muslim uh, before? Pilgrimage. Uh, the the, were you a Muslim? the pilgrimage to, to Mecca. <laughs> Why don't you and, want to answer my and question? No, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm a Christian. To, okay. I'm a Christian. Mm. So what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that if somebody loves you, loves your religion, that's what the Quran says. I'm not it's not I'm not uh, inventing it. Okay. That's the person that you look up to. Okay. So if somebody Nana. thinks about how to make your mm. uh, worship mm. and your religion comfortable for you, Mansa that's Musa. the person you look up to. And Mansa Musa I, I, likes you a lot. I, I like him too. He says he I've wants your contact, name. but he says that ah, so mm. is Nana saying that the EC is not obliged to be transparent and truthful to Ghanaians? Very obliged. I want his contact. Very obliged. And if Mansa Musa listen carefully, I didn't deny that. What I said then was, you don't say that they don't have an obligation. They are not obligated. They have. Transparency does not mean... No. They have, uh, and, they have a constitutional and, responsibility and duty what? to, to be transparent and accountable to the Ghanaians. So if we buy BVDs and they are destroyed, uh, come out and tell us, don't wait for a political party and to then show And then show the broken pieces. Ah, no, 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 and no. And stop being ridiculous. No, no, no. I didn't that is what I said. Pieces. That's what he's challenging. And I'm, I'm telling you I'm that. So that. they are so not what, obliged what to show them. Take your time. They are obliged. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I should take my time. I should take my time. Suddenly you are playing on my emotions. I should take my time. What are you talking about? After election activity, 
when you've had a problem and with you think you know this better than i do no so i'm telling you that they are obliged to be transparent but are you trying to tell me that when the machine breaks, they should can't put the parts in front of you? No, ah. that's not what the I said. That that's what I, that's not even it is the I'm basis saying. for my am, saying they were not obligated. After every so why election, are you now after this? every election, uh -huh. electoral commission probably will give us like, well, they will give us the results of the election number one. Where have I contradicted and then if myself? If something on that? has gone wrong, they will tell the people why of that. So, maybe, so, so, that yeah, so what so what are you raising to me? We have never been told that some machines have been destroyed. You are saying that they are not okay. We we have we have time to go. You see, you've taken my time. My way no, for because, me too. because it's a strange thing and you are saying. Man, some my question. Ah, what question were you asking me? Nana, when I made the statement the about the EC being okay, so our brothers are on the screen, but we'll go there, we'll go to them. Well, now. When I said about the obligation, it was to do this funny thing that he said about the issue. So, let me go to the thing. Here's the story. One, uh, uh, this turning religion into politics is a very bad omen for Ghana. I plead with Muslim brothers and Christian brothers. Okay. Do not allow your religion to be politicized. And that's what Mr. Muhammad and the NDC are doing. On the matter, on the matter of uh, 